Okay, it's Carl, Jim, and Wendy. And who will be first? Who? Who will be first to join us today? Let's see. There they are. There they are. And it's Carl. Hi, yes. Carl. Howdy. Mark. Hey, Carl. Hey, Wendy. Wendy, you just no almost tea. got got like a second later after Carl today. Hi, Jim. Hello. Look at Wendy, how cute you look in your red. Oh, you want to see this? Is this is a a skeptic shirt? Trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go that, get my dinner. I'll be right back. Okay. Is that something, okay. is that something to do with gun control? <laughs> no, it has something to do with craziness. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy. <laughs> cray, cray. I'll be back in two minutes or less. I'm on a timer. Glad to see you, Carl. Glad to see you, Susan. Glad to see you too, Jim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jim, were you here last week? Yes, I was. I haven't watched the video yet, and I don't want to see who won or anything like that. I'm trying not to look. Oh, wow, it's short. Look at the teams. There was teams with two people on it. <laughs> there are five teams. They, they manage to have five teams. Let me get this cleaned off and get started for tonight. Game 131, episode 22. Is that right? Uh, 131, 22, yes. Isabella just responded going to our Facebook event. Isabella? Yeah. What month is this? October? Maybe she's October. home. Is that a cat? Where do I hear? Oh, that's here. squeaking on my on on the ball that my my microwave meal was in. It's, is that what you're hearing? I hear a squeak. It's okay. It's not <laughs> maybe it's something now. else. I'm not sure. It was going okay. beep. maybe. Not. Oh, it's 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 Carl's cat. Well, that that's was sweet. definitely. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, here comes Jane. He's making a, a sound. My my making a sound. So I didn't know. And I'm using a, I I found a whole bunch of paper that I had printed stuff on that I ended up not using. So I have all this paper <laughs> for there our game go. tonight. Hey James. Hello there. Were you here last week? I was not. Oh, they needed you. There was hardly anybody. But oh, really? I haven't watched the video yet. So there was teams of two. Wow. <laughs> I asked Caspian, how did it go? And he says, it was quick. <laughs> <laughs> teams of two, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great power. For sure. So, what, 10 people, maybe? I have, I'm trying not to look because I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to see the scores because I want to watch the game and I don't want to know what happens. Mm -hmm. Makes any sense. The scores don't matter. Oh, I know, but it just gives away a little bit and I want to kind of not look. I mean, the score is between week to week. I know, but I want to, I don't want to really look. I did glance at the categories, but. It's because I had to put them in on the video and stuff. Yeah. Let's see. That, if I remember right, the recording doesn't include the breakout rooms. Nope. Only the ones I'm in. So because I'm recording, it records as I go from room to room. So it okay. should have recorded if Ben was going in the rooms. Okay. So, so that means that the... Uh, um, you don't get the discussion about what the heck could that could that clue possibly be for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't unless I'm in the room at the time it does it. Mm -hmm. Rob, well, can somebody send Adrian of uh, the link to the to the social media. I mean, to the game. I think Rob's afraid of getting infected by the background. 
No, his his wife's got his wife's oh, got that's right. Yes. Oh. How how oh. is she doing, Rob? His, his symptoms are very minor. That's wonderful. Hmm. Very, it, very ruined, it ruined our upcoming weekend though, partly. Ah. Uh, you have plans? Not yeah, no we, we we had a hotel in Atlantic City. And oh. We were going to stay over for a show, but now we're going to just drive to the show and back. He's going to keep a mask the whole time. And we were also going to eat a fancy restaurant, not going to do that. And then Sunday, she had plans with a friend, not doing that. So, so wait a minute. You were in Vegas last weekend. You were going to be in Atlantic City this coming weekend. Where are you going after that? Monte Carlo? Reno. Reno. <laughs> <laughs> and then Monte Carlo. Look at Aaron's back. Oh, Aaron. Hi. We haven't you, seen you in a hundred years. Oh, it hasn't been a hundred years. It might have been a year. Did you make oh, it last? Oh my gosh! Did you have to take a year break from us. <laughs> no, Aaron. last last week I was sick on Thursday. I didn't do anything. I didn't even work. Well, we Although were at, half of us were at Psycon. So I, I I heard that from Rob, and I saw it all over Facebook. Oh yeah, you can't couldn't miss it. I feel bad for anybody who didn't go and is was sitting there watching the videos. I mean, watching us having a great time. And uh, yeah, see my see my background. So this was the trivia group group on stage all together. Oh, cool. Except Brian Kirby's not in there. Oh. Oh, where was Brian? Where was Brian? Uh, he something happened and he wasn't able to get down in time for the photograph. Uh, but I should oh. Photoshop him. A in. Ad Adrian is going to try and Photoshop him into yes the picture. Well, she better hurry up and do it because I need to, I was going to print that damn thing out. <laughs> well, I, I, I gave her all the photographs just today, so she has everything she needs. Okay. Hi, Leonard. Right, I'm going to take the mask off. Hello. Hi, Leonard. It's been so long since I've seen you. How have you been? Uh, it's been that good. much time, Although, as Leonard, to be honest with you. It seems you, uh, like... you guys seem um, strangely two-dimensional. <laughs> and very very small very small and very, very small. small we're all the same height on zoom yeah no that was that was something interesting to see how you know like these other features that don't show up on zoom like um height and um a, not everybody's the same nope. well, you, you didn't see me at, at psycon but I, I you know i would surprise you to learn that i'm only two foot six <laughs> this is an Ant-Man thing, quite sort of Ant-Man, sort of partly. Like that would surprise me quite a bit. Yeah. Aaron, aren't you aren't you watching baseball or something? I thought that you, well, that was your sport. Soccer is my sport. Baseball isn't on tonight. Baseball plays starting from World Series. World Series. And the oh, Mets aren't plays? in it. The Mets Who's aren't in it? it, so I don't really care. The Mets oh. botched it as usual. Yeah. <clears throat> I was at the today. I was at the Giant Stadium, Oracle Park, walking around out in front of it, and it was really empty. So I guess the Giants aren't there. No, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Phillies, and Houston Astros. If I was still at work where I worked, which was like forty minutes from Philadelphia, the whole place would be decked out, and they'd be going crazy because yeah, yeah. probably seventy-five percent of the people there are Philly fans. Don't they have some Philly fanatic? Ooh, maybe that maybe somebody's going to do a category on all the different team mascots. That'd be interesting. We've never done that, have we? Not that I can remember. <laughs> Why'd you bring it up? Hey, yeah, I thought that right. story was not going to be part of our, our That's story. Right. Hang on, hang on. More, more, hey, important, more important. Looking at all your pictures, was every event at a restaurant? Or were you guys <laughs> anywhere but a restaurant? I probably put on ten pounds. It's, it's just e it's easiest to photograph people. That is true. Where when you're together eating. Yeah, yeah. And we well, were. There's a lot of pictures at my table because I they gave me a table. I had I had this big yeah. two big long tables and as many chairs as I would. It was great. So people spent a lot of time just hanging out at my table. You know, last last time I was at your table quite a bit. This time, I don't think I spent five minutes at the table the whole entire conference. It was weird. Well, but I spend most of my time there. And that helps so that you guys can all go do your own thing. Because, I, I mean, you're not there to be doing the table. You're there to have a good time. But I stay at the table, and that's fine. Just as long as nobody's at my table whenever I'm talking. 
<laughs> I think there, the people come to Susan's table because it's, it's where we can find each other to find our, you know, where friends mm -hmm. can find friends that actually know each other. It doesn't help very much when you're trying to meet people you never met before. Yeah. But well, we got a bunch that came up. Well, I got tons of people, but you can't have a full conversation. Somebody comes up and they want to talk to you. And then there's somebody right beside them. And then on the other side, you're like, ah, we'll have to finish this conversation later. And then you go to the next person. Then you go, Lee had to help me out. She jumped in. I said, I gave somebody the rundown on what GSOW was a little bit. And then I said, and then you could see there's other people waiting to talk to me. And I'm like, and Lee will be finishing off. <laughs> I did connect with one person the, the, the short time I was at the table, and she just joined, Carolyn. There's Hello. Carolyn. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Where's Carolyn? I don't um, see her. It, it's still loading. Yes. I have a question. Oh, there she is. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Wendy. Look at how exciting. Hi, Rob. So I'm going to ask everybody who's on today. I will, I'm going to make an announcement in a minute here. Let me write it down. Okay. So I took about 1,143 photographs. <laughs> Is that all? I took 400, no, maybe 500, and I, and I narrowed it down to 380 or something. Hmm. Well, you, you're going, you're, it's going to take you months to, to edit them. Go no, they're all them. done. They were all done. You're all all up. Everything's done. I just got to, I've already uploaded the videos, but I just haven't put, I'm not going to put an intro and outro on them. I'm done with that. I'm just going to put them up. I just got to put the people's names on it. And I just hadn't done that yet. So before my Facebook was taken over, did anyone see what? pictures from my? No, I didn't get one. Okay. Who took over your Facebook? Aliens? I on. no idea. I got um, my. Um, Who's got a fax machine going? I got uh, my my account got hacked. And, oh, no. and it happens to to lots back. of people. It's because you're popular. Yes. And then when I tried to get it back, um, the hacker put some. Um, horrible images on the uh on the facebook and then as soon as they did that they closed my facebook and said you have been banned from using facebook for the rest of your life oh wow that's amazing that's so they just did it to mess with you they uh or... i don't know it was a bot oh a bot, a bot or something. um didn't the same thing happen to um oh come on Wendy. God, um, you mean that could happen to Kyle. any one of us? Yeah, Kyle, the, well, if, the, if they Kyle, and the, and he just got his Facebook back this week. Oh, well, he's got a different. Yeah, Facebook but account. I tried to do that, and Facebook is saying no. You're we're not. Just create a new email. Get a new email yeah. address. But what happens to your I, like like I've got a huge Facebook profile with tons of photos and comments. Yep, I don't want they, that they to ever go, go away. away. What do I do? How do you protect uh, yourself? Them, back them up somewhere else. No, my I, photos are elsewhere, but I, I just yeah. don't want to lose my history with all the, you know, that just would be such a pain to lose my entire Facebook account. Yeah. Yep. And that's how do you, why you how should... can you secure it so that that can't happen to you? you I can't. I, I yeah, Two-factor authentication yeah. helps. And I didn't set up the two. two yeah, two-factor two two authentication is, uh, is, is a a good safety mechanism it's not foolproof but yeah. it's uh it's a lot better than not having it i even sent them my credentials and everything my uh license and everything and they said no you're you're you've lost the facebook privilege that's ridiculous facebook has got the, to get to a point where they can allow people to to, you know, like if your posts are deleted for ridiculous reasons or whatever, they've got to get to so we can contact somebody. Uh, so, to uh, page. Going back to something Wendy said, um, Kyle, uh, Kyle Polish, I got a Facebook friend request from him and I didn't know why. So I didn't respond to it. Uh, what happened? 
Uh, he was in a loop somehow. He needed to, something happened to his photo, um, his Facebook account and he need he had to step this two step authentication set up and he doesn't have that phone anymore for that phone number. Okay. So he wasn't able to authenticate who he was. So we just created a new one, I think. He gave up and created a new account. Yeah. All right. So I will go and yeah, uh, you can you can confidently accept the new Kyle bot. Yes. I will I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, would be, it would be nice if somebody here knew anything of how to contact them oh and God. plead my case but yeah there's nobody well, to get a hold of i don't think there's any if you can't do it how would somebody else do it? do it i tried they gave me the excuse they said oh well because of covid we can't get a hold of anyone and we can't uh <laughs> you know do any uh, allow anyone or any like that to uh a, a question regarding two-factor authentication and facebook and please don't yell at me because i know this isn't necessarily the best option but don't most people on facebook on their phone just leave it always on so they get notifications always logged in so they get notifications and whatnot no yeah, yeah. but but that but that Anyone? doesn't negate the uh utility yeah. of two-factor authentication yeah, you had to but you have to be two factors right. to configure facebook on the device in the first place you're, you're right the the two-factor protects from somebody else getting onto your account right yeah it but if you're always protect, signed in can they yeah. it does not protect if your if your phone is stolen from you right but I then didn't. you've got I didn't, you know I didn't your think face it, id I, on the phone I didn't, I didn't think it through all the way you're right yeah. i don't yeah. have face okay. id on my phone but we you've have got some a, sort of you've got a passcode. Phone, though, nope. right? You don't have a passcode well, of, it, of any you don't sort? Have, you don't have biometric or a passcode? Nope. Woo. Oh, wow. wow. So I, just, my, uh, I, I carry a, a Colt 45, and, 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 and I never let my phone out of my hand. The, and you're recording this, Susan. My yeah. phone is never <laughs> out of my hand. Target. Well, it's except for that there. one time when you sat on it. Well, I sat on it, but I knew immediately it was gone. <laughs> she, knew, she knew exactly where it was. I was no, reading it biometrically. Oh, okay. I, have, are you waving goodbye? I keep my phone on a uh, on a lanyard. Uh, That's uh, a good idea, Jim. Around my Susan, neck. can I share a picture for a second? Sure. Um, I, I posted sure. this after you you were having a conversation early on in the convention with uh, with I think uh, with the uh, with uh, Dunning. Uh, about uh, Facebook friends and all that stuff. And I know some of you guys saw, saw it when I posted it, but I thought it was apropos and I specifically mentioned you guys, but now I got to find where I am. Let's see. Um... <laughs> that was the other day. <laughs> <laughs> like a joke for like me or something <laughs> no no pretty much so, everybody <laughs> yeah well let's see who else is here hi ron you're mm -hmm. here hi ron hi kevin hi bob look we got carolyn's brand new you guys so you carolyn, know hi carolyn me. and aaron hi. hasn't been here like hi, a, year, you? a year so, so you guys so, so you have to be you. in your best behaviors I think so I talked Carolyn into joining, observant. so so uh, don't don't make her feel okay, Aaron. Or it's my midnight fault. my time, right? <laughs> so midnight Hawaii you, time. So for those of you that are very observant, you will notice that my picture, uh, the, quali the picture quality is much better. Yeah. Wow, because, what did you do? Clean the lens? <laughs> no, my laptop got stolen out of my hotel room in Vegas. Oh, no. no, oh my god, and this is a brand new one. How, wait, how did that happen? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, somebody came into the room. So either the cleaning staff, uh -huh. or if the cleaning staff is not particularly attentive and leaves multiple rooms oh, open yeah. while right. they're cleaning, someone can run in, grab something, and run out. Oh no, right. Billy! Thanks oh, for getting God. something to be paranoid about the next time. Yeah, I'm thanks, on. thanks. I, I'm already well, now. So I'm already my, paranoid uh, about not having a passcode on my phone. I well, you should you should yeah, fix you that. Should do that. Yeah, you should do that. I um, hate it though. I'm always opening a damn thing. But the laptop will fit in the safe. I think yeah. in the uh, in the hotel room. 
which oh, yeah. I oh. stupidly enough did not take advantage I've of. I've never it. used that. Oh. I left mine sitting on the desk the whole time. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And, well, I and carried I mine did, around with me. I a did bunch. too until it wasn't there anymore. Wow. Well, I had when I was in the book room, I, I and we were going somewhere and um maybe it was to get our pictures or the the do the Oh, the, the trivia and picture. I, huh? I didn't want to leave my purse and I didn't want to carry it. I took it over to the IIG table, the CFI IG table, and, and told Jim Underdown, keep an eye on it. <laughs> I, I just left my he, laptop wherever. Guy. I left, oh. you know, my laptop is, I like my laptop a lot. I really, really like it, but there's really nothing on it. I mean, as far as. Um, Except your passwords for your. Uh, um, Oh, thanks. You Facebook know, Leonard, you're about. just yeah. a shining bit of glory, aren't you? Any, well, and then there's, any, then there's all the stickers on I the cracked help. screen, too. So, I guess that's so an Susan. advantage of just putting the do not disturb and not getting room turned Susan, on. Yeah, yes, for your Rob. For your right. protection, I suggest you end the recording and then start it over after we stop, start talking, stop talking about this stuff. Now, why? Because you just declared you were a target before. Hey everybody, I'm a target. Not, not only that, For the, now those I'm two or three people person. that are listening in on this are going to know about not it. Not only that, we just described a very good way to steal laptops. Wait mm. for the cleaning crews are in there. I'm going to I'm going to put a passcode on my phone and and I carry a 45 45 right here. Here you do. <laughs> that's well, that's because of 33. Barrel. I got two. <laughs> Come and it's get a, it. It's a double barrel shotgun, right, Susan? Yeah. <laughs> The only 45 way for could to also do. be a very little old plastic record. I yeah. have, oh yeah, I have a frog <laughs> and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got this in, muted, in, in Arkansas, yeah. Lee, Lee had, Lee Pinter has a, um, they have a, a, an event there every year. It's called Winter? Toad, no, <laughs> Toad, Toad something. It's, it's a, festival and uh, all these frog related stuff so when i was back there i bought this and i used to um, my desk ever since i was there i just love this little guy he's got these you know he's, he's so cute question question for jamie jamie uh are you guys on the same oh, hi, jamie i didn't see you get here hi, are you good morning same, are you in the same time zone as japan are you close <laughs> uh i think it's uh, i think it's either one or two hours difference let, let me tell check. you why Avi just got invited to do a talk in Japan in January, and oh. and, and um, so I'm thinking I'm going to tell him it was, it's about 12 hours. I don't know what the difference is for you, guy. With it's with you, but maybe he he'd be able to join us for for uh, for at least a couple of minutes if he has any free time. Sure. Well, right now it's 8:20 in the morning on Friday, so oh, it would be six. Oh. No, it'd be 10:20 for him in Japan, it's right? 10, yeah, ten twenty in the morning. Yeah, he might be able to do it then. Yeah. Yeah. After he might be awake like right Australian there. time. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, it's close to Australian time. So, for those who care about the previous subject, I, I was concerned about the two factor, two factors. I wasn't sure I had that. It took me ten minutes to find it. Facebook did not make it easy, but there's three things it does. You can turn it on or off. You can also have it show you any list of devices which have logged in that might not be you. And then you can get an alert about any unrecognized logins, all three separate right. things. Ooh. And that's face Facebook does that? Yes, that's yeah. Facebook. And, and okay. my, mine were all set right by some miracle. <laughs> I think mine are all set because I seem to remember that we kept getting a notification and you just kept, it was like, God, I'm ready, go away. And I finally think I sat down and said, all right, I'll do the stupid thing. And kept <laughs> saying, you gotta have it, you gotta have it, you gotta have it, you gotta have it. So if you do it on the, like on, like I'm right now, I'm on, on uh, well, if I, if I put on, Facebook, it would be on my laptop. But if I set it there, is it automatically going to set it on the Facebook app on my phone? Yeah, so it it's, it's, it's account, account one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wendy's showing so it's a two-factor authorization. Yeah. <clears throat> right. No, I know what it is. I'm just Hi, saying. Hi, Jane. I have to do it. Separately. Well, no, it, 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 it's, per, it's on your account, so it doesn't matter what device you're on. Okay. Yeah, or what, or way, how you're getting there, like a browser yeah, that's or what an I mean. app or anything yeah, yeah. like that. Okay. Well, I suddenly you, feel so much more secure. Yeah, me I too. I, had it on. <laughs> I made myself a note to double check it when the game's over. The only way for me to get a Facebook account, another one, is to change my phone number. 
and to do a fake name and to well you shouldn't have to do a fake name but you have yeah. to do a yeah you could be vincent stevens you could be vincent in the middle initial stevens you, no. you don't have to change your name but you I, do get a burner phone i tried i a tried burner phone? and then no oh we don't have those up here yes we do <laughs> you can, google, you can, do we? You can yeah. get a google voice uh phone I've number never, i've talk never to seen one yeah they're just called pay and go I used to get them for the kids. Oh, okay. oh yeah. But Vincent. keep in mind that you need to have that phone number again if you ever. Yeah, need that's that can't. Name. Yeah. Vincent? Oh, I think somebody said Google Voice. If that works, that's yeah, really Google good. Voice. Oh, good idea. It's Google free Google. and. Uh, Here, honey. Uh, free and easy. And you won't lose it unless you ignore the notices, like I almost did. That says you haven't used it in four months. You need to use right. it. Or you're going to lose it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only the, so. No, I. They pretty much said no. I cannot. Well, you have to be be a new person now, Vincent. But you can still use your name. I uh, yeah. Can, but. Yeah, there's like a million. I was looking for somebody's name on on Facebook today, Ooh. and um, there's like two Ooh. dozen of people with that name. All right, different people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. But oh it's yeah, the have phone number. Number. Pick one that's rare, one. like pick Susan Gerbic. <laughs> I only have, I only have one phone different. number. So. Well, well, just get a Google it. thing. Get one of those other things and, and just use it and hold on to it. One thing I'm wondering, though, if he uses Google Voice and they want to use it to text him a security code, well, how will, will that work? Yeah. I, I've never used Google Voice. I don't know. We've had uh, we've used Google uh, when we were when I was with the IIG and I was doing this yeah. thing with the psychics. This is before I started doing my own psychic events, and they gave me a Google um, they gave me Google Voice like phone numbers, and it's just like having a phone number. So if you if you were still you can get text messages on that, hmm? yeah, yes, yeah, so you log you log into Google Voice and app on the phone, and you can also text. Yes. Yeah. So you okay, so, so like that. three years from now, and you need to reset something, and you need Google Voice, your Google Voice number to get a text message with a four-digit code that they're going to send you. Will that still happen? Will that still work? Yeah, like, you... as long as you didn't ignore <laughs> their, their periodic messages that said, yeah. hey, you haven't used us in six months, so we're going to take your number back. Every so many you months, you got to right use it again, yeah. just to keep it out. And, and I, I it... can guarantee you can use your name because there's more than a dozen car with a case out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So do they, is it, um, does it give you a notification and do you have to have your browser on and what, I mean, how does it work? Like you're sitting there with your, with your laptop and you're doing. Well, it's like on, on the phone, it's like any other app. If, if you have it so that it sends notifications, it could even do it through your lock screen. Ooh. On your, on your laptop while you're and typing something in Word? It's or... for phones. I don't know about laptops. It's for phones. Oh, yeah. it's just phones? But yeah. Because okay. I think. It's, good. it's, it's like having a, a, a phone. A different right. Phone but number. I think I remember like. God, it had been 15 years ago. My brother did a Google Voice thing and we did it over computers. We didn't do it over phones. I, I wouldn't I be surprised if you an app for the computer because there are soft phone apps you can run on. Right. Machines. Right. So do they ring basically or do they do a yeah, ding when there's a message yeah. or something? I use it a lot and I, it rings through on my computer. Yeah. Uh, and on my cell phone. Yeah. And do you yeah, have to have it on or does it have to be a no, certain... It operates in the, in the background. Does does the does the browser or whatever it is have to be open? Like, because I mean, yeah. I can quit all the apps on my laptop. Your your browser has to be open, but my browser is always open. So, okay. Right. Oh, did you guys get this this uh, um, alert that uh -huh. Musk apparently has bought Twitter and he's already firing Twitter's top executives? Oh, I didn't see that part. I saw that. So that I've I've seen lots of inconsistent <laughs> reporting. Yeah. Um, well, this the, is the New York Times. Reliable, and, and, I, I I was, and I saw a tweet from him that said he's not going to fire um, lots of people. So, well, it says if, if I, uh, I it's naming the people who've been fired already. They're fired. Oh, well, the CEO and the CFO are. Yeah, I mean, those are going to be fired. You got that? That's a given. Ooh, one was escorted out of the Twitter's office. Yeah, Must have been embarrassing. If I had ever been on Twitter, I would quit now. <laughs> well it says it says friday he hasn't even he hasn't even completed the deal yet it says right. tomorrow is the day he's supposed to complete the deal how amazing yeah. 
That's but, crazy. What if he lets Trump back on? That's what I was just going to say. And he will. He will. He's saying First Amendment. And the, yeah, and that's what he's going to do. That's the First the Amendment NPR, has nothing it's a government thing. It's got nothing to do with a business. It's so ridiculous. The NPR yeah. said he will be letting Trump back on. That's his plan. Well, he, oh, I send well, Trump and, back and on. It's, and it's I nice to know that they hey, have hey. some sort of telepathic communication with him. <laughs> uh, um, we'll see what he does. And he'll let Trump back on. That's his plan. He, that's he has, his plan. He has, and, and so you have telepathic communication with him? <laughs> I think he, Sid, I think he Sid has, does channel him. He or has Elon, hinted, you know, they're like this. Yeah. He, he, he has hinted hinted that, you like this, but he Elon? hasn't said it. Now that's the, um, that was a story of NPR today. He was going to fire a lot of people and he plans to let Trump back on. Oh. And, and, and as we know, everything ever uttered on NPR is 100% true. Well, it doesn't mean no. Whoa, 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 whoa! It doesn't mean that it's one hundred percent true. That's what it was reported. Okay. And that's what she said. Anything she said, anybody I can report something that that turns out to be not true. Yeah, she did make that's, the claim. She didn't say it's going to happen. She says this is what is being reported on NPR. She uh -huh. stated her sources, right. which is what yep. a good skeptic should do. Thank you very much. And anything that's reported on the news is sub is subject to being uh, uh, misreported or being by the original party. I, mean, that's gonna... I think I look at it as it's a it would be it would be bad and it's Elon, so there's a better than 50, 50, 50 <laughs> chance that he'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That makes sense. Okay, here we go. Rob is gonna Rob, you're doing a category tonight. You know that. Mm. Gail is doing I'm a category tonight. Why are the question I don't marks behind me. I don't know. Because because the topic yeah. is punctuation. Carl, you have a category tonight. Yeah. Room three. Kevin, you have a category tonight. But Room four. I do lighthouses. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Evil. I, I'll Evil. tell you, I'll tell you if it's lighthouses, I may not be back for another year. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why Aaron was gone for a year. Yeah. What was the last thing you remember? It's not. I just happened to visit a few of Peggy, you there. are doing a category tonight. You know that, right? I didn't think so. What? I have one and I can do it, but it's bonus. It's bonus. It's bonus. I don't. Ugh, I don't think I have a bonus. Oh well, but... I can do bonus if you want. Switch it. <laughs> I did it last week, and I thought somebody else would have one this week. But I don't know. All I got is what's written down here. I don't know. You weren't here. Where's how many, Ben? How many? How many people played last week? Ooh. Twelve. I want to say 13. twelve. There was a picture, 12, but I, I didn't see a video. Yeah, I have the video. It's up. Oh, okay. And so did were the less teams looked at or yet, just smaller teams? Oh, it's two people on one Three team. Three people on every team, and then Whoa. some people Great. left, so we're down to two. Yeah. Cas was Caspian said it was very quick. <laughs> it was. But it was fun. But it wasn't but, that quick. But you forgot yeah. to put it on 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 like everybody. So we just saw one speaker at a time on that video. Oh yeah. Well that's funny because that's what happens when Rob when Rob was running it, recording it. One person at a time. I don't know why, because when I think it's a setting that's in your guys' computer on Zoom. Because I don't know why it would why would it do that? Not for me, but it does. The default for setting has been changed by you probably. No, because it's no, you probably changed it once and they'll have to change it again. Everybody else has the original default. Why, why well, they're defaulting to speaker I, only. I, when I ran it, I logged in with her account, so I don't know what it would have to do with my settings. Oh, okay. So I don't know. That day was gone. Well, her account, but your computer. Yeah. So why would that? Your, so your Zoom. You've got your cookies Zoom. on your on your on your. Machine. Oh, it's his, but it's my Zoom he's using, and so Ben also. No, no, no. My, I got the cookies on my tray. They're not on my. He's using his computer. Zoom with your account. It's his Zoom, and it's his settings. Oh, that well, might be. Stop so saying cookies. Now I want. I don't know why you would do that. I went to the website zoom.com with her credentials and hit start meeting. Why would that be my Zoom? Because, because of cookies computer. on your computer. He says he's got cookies, but they're not. So, Susan, did you get my phone number? Your phone number? Where would I get it? I put it. Oh, I asked Adrienne if she could give it. Jamie, yeah, gotcha. Uh, okay. uh, no, I don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. Oh. 
just get back on Facebook because I'm not going to call you. I can't. I can't get on oh, Facebook. You I can know. do it. You just have to get a Google. Um, Why don't we get one of the old uh, psychic fake people and just change it name to Vincent? There you go. Here you go, Vincent. Here's your account. Of course, they had a bunch of old women on it who's been, <laughs> who's been losing their children's their inheritance or whatever. Vincent's <laughs> on the land. Vincent, I've opened a bunch of different Facebook pages over the years. I have probably that we've used for psychic stings. None of them have my name on it. It's not hard. Just open it, a new account. You might need to use a new browser, but it's not hard. I, I just did it. I had to restart. See? Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> you yeah, but you weren't banned, ask. though, Kyle. You were not banned. What did you do? I was banned. Somebody so took over his account. Somebody took over my account and oh, put on and then put the on, well. uh, horrible images, like really horrible images. I'll like take pictures your of it. Trump. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open the room. So remember, we're on our best behavior. Carolyn is going. Wait, where did I put Carolyn? Let me see. So Kyle, I was reluctant to accept I find your. Uh, I'm gonna show class. you right now. You should see I it didn't now. Do you see it? What was up? Yeah. But I understand. Should, yeah. So I've just join, yep. and they'll explain as we go. We shouldn't chant "fresh meat, fresh meat," anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Don't want to scare her off. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Gail. Gail, you have a category tonight. Yep, I've got it. I can do one Great. next week, Susan. Okay, I'll put you down. I'm putting Terry okay. in that room. Okay, Terry, Jamie, got it. in that get you guys out of those rooms now my goodness chit chat chit chat chit chat <laughs> chit chat chit chat chit what did i miss oh i'm saying i i ended your time sooner pulled you out of your rooms oh okay well we were we were ready oh that's because yeah. you're just on it <laughs> look at that we've got aaron back and isabella back it's been like a year and then another new player. I have another person who says they're going to play next week. So Isabella, what brings you back? I finally have time. She has. <laughs> she bought glasses. Look at how intelligent she is now. Look at those glasses. She's, I finally have time. She's got, she's got you like, look smarter now with those glasses. You thank you. Thank you. Points. <laughs> are you in the dorm or are you in a hotel? Uh, an apartment. Look at her moving up in the world. Woo woo. Whoa. <laughs> got an apartment now wow Jeez, how many how many people wow. are you rooming with isabella uh just one my roommate from last year are nice. you going to be in town and uh um are you going to be back down here at halloween thanksgiving not halloween unfortunately oh. isabella's here hello isabella hi uh, what team hey. are you on three um i'm with karen and oh. wendy and carl Oh, okay. Vincent and so, so my and prediction, Vincent and Aaron. My prediction is Team Three is going to win this round. We'll see. Yeah. This round. A while. Oh, oh, is that because you I happen think. to know what's going to be the first category? Hey, yeah. Oh, uh oh. Ruh -oh. Ruh -oh. <laughs> it's questions about people named Mark. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so I have a request from you guys. For you guys. All right, two things. First is we're going to not talk a lot about PsyCon because I know that's going to be really bad for people who didn't go. And it, I don't like a lot of inside. I don't like it make people feel like they're unwelcome and or they didn't get to be part of the group. Isn't so, it too late for that conversation? No, I, let's just try to tune it down as much as possible unless you're only with another person who went to PsyCon. Well, Ben was the only person on our team and we made him feel awful then because that's what we talked about. <laughs> Uh, I had a I had a good cry, but I'm doing okay now. He he seemed to be fine. It's just sad. He, he's suppressing. He was suppressing. Yeah. And he wanted okay. to know about about Wendy and Paula's room. Okay, so the other thing is, I'm making <laughs> I'm making Jane from. <laughs> they both look at each other like what? I'm gonna have to make Jane, Oregon, and Jane, California, or something, because I cannot remember which one's which so jane from oregon you're now in control and you're the troll buster so you're going to be muting everybody so you better figure out how <laughs> and the other thing is because we have a, a few new people 
<laughs> well, we have it. We have Carolyn, who's brand new, who's joined, to, who's about to join GSOW and also was a cyclone. I'd like you guys, if you can, to please put down that you're GSOW on your name tags because so she can get to Even know. Even if I'm not? No, only <laughs> if you are. So she can get to know who people are. Just, and that's only if you're officially GSOW. Not only officially. if you are in the secret cabal. Right. Okay. And if you don't know what, what you're talking about, what do you do? You just leave it like it normally are. Okay. Just so that she'll have a chance to know who's who. No stolen valor, Kevin. Don't be yeah, pretending right. to be GSOW <laughs> if you're not. No. Yeah. You can oh, BSA. Be trouble. <laughs> we'll have to. We'll have to vote you out of the Zoom room. So that's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I, am I GSOW? Because I never do Wikipedia, but I do other stuff. No, you would know if you are. You'd be you would be inundated with messages from me saying, "What the hell you're doing? Why are you not?" <laughs> okay, I'm not. So, is there anybody in GD or AR? No, I don't know anything about that. You'll have to start your own group. <laughs> yeah, you would know if you're in the secret cabal, Wendy. Yeah, you would have just, officially gone through all of the training, which takes you roll up your left sleeve, and then everybody. <laughs> Maybe next year. So I have to comment on Adrian's You're busy doing uh, something else. second subtitle there. Yeah, so I do so I'm, every, everyone should look forward to the next probably episode of, of the Skeptic Zone because I think there's five minutes continually of uh, Adrian giggling. <laughs> <laughs> she, was she was interviewing me and she was just going crazy in the least little things. I think she has to say our team name too. That sounds great. Okay, so here we go. So Carolyn, has, has, has anybody explained to you what's going to happen? Oh, don't spoil the surprise. No, but I mean, I, I want her to understand we're not. We kind of did. We just picked a team name. The, the and team. We'll come we back here. With each other. So you're so. on mute, Carolyn. You're you. Well, that's right. So the thing is, is that this is social trivia first. Social comes before trivia <laughs> for a reason, because we tend to be a little chatty. And they do get a little insulting to me at times. So so it's OK. Don't no. I, I can handle it because I have the power of blocking people <laughs> or, or kicking you out of the meeting permanently like she did to brandy perny once yeah where's brandy okay is that why she hasn't been back in a while <laughs> no she was a psychologist. banished to washington washington okay so first things first my one of my favorite things of all time is to listen to your guys names so here we are ben deborah jane from oregon kyle and rob what is your team name Enable to FA. What is that? Two-factor authentication. Found to oh, be secure. Oh, you. you guys are yeah. so clever with your little tech speak. <laughs> well, we you? were having a little chat about it during. You guys uh, feel all today. feel all enabled so, now with yeah. your two-factor identification. I thought it was three-factor because no, okay. On well, your bank, I'll, especially. I'll, do it. I'll, I'll make sure I do it when it's four-factor. All right. Team number two, Alan, Bob, Gail, Jim, and Leonard. We are we are trying we're trying to get a name, but Elon fired us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, team number three, Aaron, <laughs> Isabella, Karen, Carl, Vincent, and Wendy. Just a sec, I got. I Just a sec. That's oh, a good one. Yeah, that's not what, oh, no, 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 I forgot to copy it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that's another good one. That would be another good one. Just sorry. Sorry. Just sorry. sorry. We're completely <laughs> partial. <laughs> I like that. Well, partially. I, don't... Yeah, I like completely. Oh, it cannot be impartial. So, yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. You're completely partial. Adrian, Carolyn, James, Jamie, Jane from California, and Kevin. Am I supposed to say it to giggle? Yes. Okay. I'll try not to giggle. Don't giggler. <laughs> 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 Gay is an uck. What? What? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, ye. Yay. Oh, Kanye, Kanye oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's that's an uck? Yeah. Whatever you what want does it to this be. mean. Oh, me. That's that guy who's Kanye. 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 No, yeah. no. Just, just call yeah. him by his real name because that name is stupid. He legally changed his <laughs> name to Ye. Yeah, that's well, why he's an uck. Too bad. He's an uck. <laughs> oh, now he can change it to you. Ye is an uck. <laughs> really? Yuck, so, uh, fuck. Uh, yeah. This is okay. So, ye is the new name of who? 
of who Kanye. Kanye West. Kanye West. Kanye West. So, I, I guess it's, it's pronounced Yay. Yeah, yeah, it's Yay. Yeah. Kanye. I guess Yay. it's Kanye. Yay. The Yay part Yay. of Kanye. Yeah. Boo okay. Yay. Yeah. Boo to yeah. yay. Yeah. yeah. Caspian, Cindy, Peggy, Ron, and Terry. Hey, Caspian, where are you? I can't see you. I can barely run Zoom on this right now. So no video. We are, thanks to cocaine, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week's school. Nice. Last week. That yeah. requires a little bit more than uh, I don't know that one. Uh, no. I like that. Probably one. a category from last week. Yes. Carry over. Oh, they I, were I using an inside joke. Okay, I inside should have joke. left your name uh, renamed, Susan, because I, I would... saw that. I saw in the picture it said <laughs> filling it's in. It's a Ben, Ben pretending to be Susan. I, I'm waiting. I thank I you so much, it. Ben, for doing that. I hope it wasn't such a big deal, but I no, I'm it was really fine. The video. It was fine. I, I should have started the recording job. earlier, but I wanted to get people to chat about stuff that, you know, maybe about us. going on. Yeah, yeah. Ben was great. He did great. It went smooth. It was fabulous. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Thank you. Ben. It was, hey, it was hey, great. Don't praise him too much. <laughs> no, it was a really good job. It was the ben, best ben, trivia ben, ever. Ben, ben. <laughs> Caspian sure said it went very quickly. Be sure to watch it. It's some of our best work. Oh, I am going to watch it. It's, I have it here, but I need a good chunk of time to make sure I can watch it all at once. I don't want to watch it in bits. I want to watch it like... Okay. That, that that bit of time where there was no recording, we totally weren't talking about you, Susan. <laughs> well, I hope it was good because there's not much to make you didn't have to make stuff up, I guess. Okay. Here we go. You guys all sitting down? Okay, here we go. Game number 131. Season three, episode. 22 we are so freaking awesome because we didn't even miss this last thursday that is so good i'm so glad you guys did it i'm so proud of you guys and then when we're sitting in the food court over at psycon and you guys are passing the camera around it was hilarious we couldn't hear you we could sort of see you <laughs> i don't know if you could see us well it'll be on the video i assume so that was yeah, fun. we could see you guys pretty well that was fun that was a lot of fun so we we our hearts went out to you guys here in trivia. So we were thinking of you. Oh, anyway. So here we are on the last Thursday of October, about to get ready. Some of us, some of us are going to go to Peggy's house and hope she isn't stressed on, on, on <laughs> trick or treating. Okay. I can't wait. <laughs> who is it who's bringing the guitars to break? And the we're going to have the big speakers, right? Uh, no, no. Who's bringing those and the electric guitars? Well, Robin is threatening to bring instruments, so. Oh, yeah, it's not loud enough. We're looking at like, Black Sabbath or something. So anyway. Do you need it? On Sunday. So here we go. Too fast. Enable. Oh, Robin's trying to get in. She doesn't have a trivia link. Can somebody give her a trivia link? Robin Redbreast there. It's like the same. Like I know it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. She's sweet. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so we are playing the five teams that are playing tonight. I hope somebody sent her one. She probably got like five. Enabled TFA versus we were trying to get a name, but Elon fired us versus we're completely partial versus yay is a yuck. I can call it whatever I want. Thanks to cocaine, we got one. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so here we go, my unconventional conventionalists. And next week, I do have two people already scheduled for trivia, but um, I have Jamie and I have Terry, so just letting you know. And did you guys decide what you're doing tonight about Peggy? Are you going to do the bonus, or are you flipping with Kevin, or what? I can go ahead and do five. Um, it's just not going to be a bonusy category. It's going to be more like a regular category, but it's a fast regular category. Yeah, okay. Let's do the bonus in round four. That's all. I don't care. All yeah. right. Mine so is, just work like it out between four. you two. Here yeah, we go. Matter. Mine can be like a bonus. It doesn't matter. So we're going to start off tonight with uh, Robert Palmer, who will be doing the first round, led by Gail. After that, Carl. And then somewhere it's either Kevin or Beggy or some kind of something that I don't know about. So, 
<laughs> I'm totally cash. I'm cash. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Robert, let's give you the controls. Okay, so the category of this. And don't forget, Jane. I, I don't see how to mute people. I hmm. see suspend participant activities. Yeah, you, participants on the bottom. Somebody send it to a Zoom link to Robin. Participants working on it. Zoom link. You see that, Jane? And don't answer. I, new people don't sorry, answer any Rob. questions now. Wait till we're I see the spin participant activities. Is that it, Rob? No. At the bottom, when you open participants, just click on the the the, oh, the little picture of people and participants. participants. And here comes Rob. Says, so don't it say says mute yet. all at the bottom. Do you not see that? Maybe it's a different platform you're on. I don't know then. There should be a list of the participants on the right hand. Oh, button. I see it. I see mute all. Okay. Okay. So here. Here comes Robin, so hold on just a second until she's signed in. No, you weren't supposed her. to do it that way. <laughs> what, what? So a, after the category gets read what it is, then then you go three, two, one, then you middle. Because Susan likes but, to hear everybody complain about the category. Yeah, she likes I, that. I want to hear everybody complain about so the everybody's category. muted. Oh, well, if you want to, unmute yourself or don't. Oh, I'm going to unmute just in case <laughs> I need to groan, Rob. No. Okay. So the category is mystery themed celebrities. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I like it. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now now mute everybody. Okay, now you can be this muted. All. Except me, I'll just unmute it. Okay, and you have to mute yourself, Jane, just so you know. It doesn't mute the person who does it for some odd reason. Okay, so Hi, Robin. question, question number talk. one is this is the daughter of an American politician. At 20 years old, she competed in the fall 2010 season of Dancing with the Stars and finished in third place. Her ongoing weekly survival on the show, despite constantly getting the lowest scores from the judges, resulted in death threats. What? Number two. This is an actress and Victoria Secret model, perhaps best known for her appearance in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, including the cover of the 2010 issue. Ooh, same year as the previous one. She made her feature film debut in Just Go With It and later starred in Battleship and What to Expect When You're Expecting. She was a series regular on Netflix's Grace and Frankie, portraying Mallory Hansen. Number three. She's an American actor and director who appeared in the Jurassic World trilogy. She has been in several TV series, including Black Mirror and Arrested Development, and she directed episodes of The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. I didn't know that until I read a Wikipedia article. Number four, he is an American actor and singer. He has had leading roles on Broadway, as well as in film and television. His films include Curiosity, United 93, Hysteria, and Smile. He starred in the FX horror anthology series, American Horror Story, in its fifth to eighth seasons. In 2022, he competed in season seven of The Masked Singer as Prince of Team Good, finishing in third place. Team Good? Yeah, I don't watch the I must be so missing out on so I don't know much. what that's about. <laughs> Number five, this is an American actor best known for his role as Milton Mamet in the third season of AMC's The Walking Dead, Elliot Delson on Unforgettable, and Owen Cavanaugh on The Good Wife. He also starred in the Netflix comedy Insatiable. Are you going for the longest trivia questions ever? <laughs> no, no, these are not the longest trivia questions. They can do ever. longer. That yeah no 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 that I definitely... could start tracking the stats on this. <laughs> please please Don't do make it, it a challenge. Give us a chart. I'm pretty sure this go that that goes to Gail. I'm just pretty sure about that. Oh, Gail, the thing between Gail and Rob, my God, the rivalry. Number six. I'm doing another category today. We'll see. We'll see. Number six. Well, I could I could put I'll get your stats ready. I could cut these in half and give you half the clues in each one if you'd like that. Number six. This is an English actor who made his breakthrough in the Lord it of the Rings make any film difference. series. And reprised his role in the Hobbit film series. He played Will Turner in the Pirates of the Caribbean film series and was the lead in the Amazon Prime video series Carnival Row, which I loved. I'm with I'm with Leonard. I'm not sure. It's it pasted five again, Rob. 
I did. Why hey, did that? we got five again. Why did do that? Cool. Do we get to answer that question twice? Yes, six. And get a point. Is there? And okay. Susan, my friend Lori's coming in. When? She says she's there. I'll say anything. No. Oh. Number seven. Uh, this is an American media personality, businesswoman, model, actress, singer, DJ, and socialite. Born in New York City and raised there and in Beverly Hills, California. She wrote Confessions of an Heiress, which became a New York Times bestseller. I'll be back. Where are you going? Was this something I said? Number eight. This is an American model, actress. Reporting. What? What? This is an American model, actress, singer, songwriter, and musician. She is the second child of Michael Jackson and Debbie Rao. In 2020, she signed a deal with Republic Records. Her first single, Let Down, was released on October 29, 2020, and her debut album, Wilted, was released on November 18, 2020. I hope you said celebrities with quotes around them, right? Mm -hmm. Number nine. The Chilean, this Chilean actor played the roles of Isaac Mendez in the television series Heroes, Lancelot in the BBC drama Merlin, and Aramis in the BBC series The Musketeers. He was also the lead in the TV show Salvation as Durius Tans, and he played Captain Cristobal Rios in Star Trek Picard. And finally, Number 10. This is an American film director, producer, and actor who died in 2008. He directed more than 20 films and television shows and acted in over 30 movies or shows and produced over 44 films. He won the Academy Award for Best Director and Best Picture. His films include They Shoot Horses, Don't They?, Three Days of the Condor, Tootsie, and Eyes Wide Shut. Bob's got his hand up. Bob, did you know you have your hand up? On Kat's iPad, lower hand, lowering hand. Okay, any questions? Okay, go to your rooms. Robin, I'm gonna put you in your room and I'll put your friend with you whenever she gets here. And hopefully she gets here, she, she said. Yeah, I don't see anything. She said what? She said, I said, hop on and try my trivia group. And she said, I'm there. Meaning she'd like to join. She has a, she has a link, right? I gave her the link in a Facebook message. Okay, well, I'll let her in. I'll put her in your room and she'd say her name is Lori. Lori. Okay. It could, it could say Lavender Sage. Or it could okay, say Lori. If it says... Parsley, sage, and thyme. <laughs> Something like that. Let's let her in. Okay, uh, she's uh, she's the one who's accused of turning middle school kids trans. She's oh, my hero. That, oh, she's my one. Rosa Parks. I okay. love this woman. Yeah, if she shows up, I'll, I'll put her in. Okay. Okay, Robert. Oh, I got to get into my team and answer all those questions. Oh, my gosh. Born in 1990. I always felt like she was my age or older. I was born. She in might, uh, might be the age might be wrong. Yeah. I almost she, forgot to get over here to answer all these questions. She, yeah, she let's go, on, Susan. She wouldn't have been on Dancing with the Stars, though. Doesn't seem like her style. What are you talking yeah. about? Question the, one, question the one. politician's daughter. We oh, just, I think, rejected Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> Let's think um, about this. We think she's how old? So 2010, she would have been. She's 35 or something now. How old are you, Kyle? I'm 41. I was born in 81. And you think she's about your age? Or older. I don't think she's that old. But I maybe think she I'm is wrong. because I think she Hillary's might be older than that. Hillary's 65, 70. She's old. She's like at least maybe 70. Okay. So almost 70, been right? More recent. So her daughter's got to be probably 40-ish, 45. And, and it may not have been a uh, president. It could have just been true. You know, That's true. I think yeah, less I likely think, a, a think, senator think, or something or a governor or somebody we've I never don't heard think of. Kelsey Clinton would be on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, I know who it is. Who? It's um, um, 
the woman with the blonde hair now, Liz that Cheney. Could be anybody. Oh, Liz. Oh, you think? So, Her father so, was Dick Cheney. <laughs> question, Susan. He had a uh, gun. It, oh. it seems like it's doing no. it now, here now as well. What? Does it normally, the recording, follow you in the rooms that yeah. you go to? Mm -hmm. Because it's not saying that we're recording when you entered and it yeah, wasn't it recording. It did? Up in the I'm left not, side of mine, it says recording. I'm, it's I'm not getting that notification now. No, the notification and I don't know if it when did. you began. Yeah. But usually you see like a red dot or something up in the I'm corner. Seeing, right? I'm, seeing, I'm seeing the red dot. I see a red dot. It. I wonder if it's because I'm sharing my screen. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. Yep, we I haven't see answered okay. one. So where are you guys? No, we got. We got. We got. Okay. Something. For number two, um, I don't know if this is the right person, but I know I did see that movie. Just go with it. Mm -hmm. And there was an actress in that movie who was really beautiful, and her name was Brooklyn. Brooklyn Decker. That's probably who it is. You know what? I don't, I don't know, know the she's theme. a model. I don't know about any of these other shows. I know the theme. She's she's been on she's been on the uh, cover of Sports Illustrated. Yes, it's because all the answers have are names of places. Yes, yes. There are some other yes. Oh. I agree with you. So yeah, because Bryce I'm, Dallas Howard, Brooklyn. And Decker. I know number eight. Uh, yes, yeah. What's too. eight? Eight is Paris. Yes, right. Karen yep. Jackson. I couldn't remember what what her name was. I knew it was like a no, place. Paris, Paris Hilton. Seven, seven is Paris no. Hilton. Paris Jackson. Wait, which one? Oh, this one's Paris Hilton. Yeah. Seven oh, is the same Paris name Hilton, twice. And eight is Paris Jackson. Yes. Let's put the full name. Just but to be I'm safe. confused because number nine can. Uh, after you finish that, can you scroll up so I can read number ten? Yeah. Oh, you scroll down. You mean? Yeah, scroll because okay. number ten uh film director producer and actor i thought it was uh, stanley kubrick thought, but it could be wrong i thought it was sydney pollock it has eyes to wide to the city isn't eyes wide shut stanley kubrick or it am is, i wrong yeah oh, eyes wide yeah. shut for sure but neither one of those are names of oh sydney yes it, you're right you sydney must, the place yeah wait what? Where, what are we talking about what what's where's sydney sydney um, australia yeah, but where is it in the name in the name? The the name of the director would be Sydney Pollock. Uh, Sydney Pollock. Oh, it's me. I'm right. Sydney Pollock. All right, Sydney Pollock for number 10. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Not, okay. not Stanley Kubrick. Um I yeah, sworn I think it was an eyes wide shut with Stanley Kubrick, though. But yeah, oh, I mean if it doesn't I'm fit the in theme. In the same boat, but doesn't fit the theme yet. And also Tootsie was, I don't think. By I, I Kubrick. thought it was Sydney Pollock. Well, uh, okay, so film director okay. and producer and actor. Oh, here comes Kevin again. Where'd he go? I read that question. It's American film director, producer, and actor who died in 2008. I oh. thought, I just knew about Tootsie. I thought it was Sidney Pollack. But you thought yeah. Eyes Wide Shut was Stanley Kubrick. Okay, so which I'm, I don't yeah, think that's a, a, a problem here because he could have been the producer. So yeah. He's the, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he also, could have been he the producer of that. He, Okay. Stanley Kubrick that's, that's was not a movie actor. He didn't start. No, he was too busy right. faking the moon landing. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. So okay, that does. makes more sense because I I forgot that it mentioned that he was a because he could have just been a producer on that film and not the director. Okay. Does anyone have the theme yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks yeah. Yeah. That was easy. The the all the names are uh, of these people are places. Rob looks so does. And they, yeah. wait, so, so far we have Paris and Sydney and what's the other place? We have Brooklyn. Other Paris. We, and got, we, Brooklyn, have a Brooklyn. we got Bryce Dallas Howard. Um, oh, we don't okay. remember which politician's daughter it was. We need okay, to answer so, number four. Um, politician's daughter. Who was, who was, God, I watched Walking I Dead and I'm trying to remember who played things. Milton. Yeah, I watched I watched Walking Dead uh, through through that season for sure, and I don't even remember who Milton is. Yeah, I don't think he was a very long running character in there. I think he died like in the first season. A politician's daughter. Um, hold on, who's who's who plays Legolas in Lord of the Rings? I'm blanking on his name. Oh, Orlando Bloom. Yes, there thank you, Orlando Bloom. I was Bob I knew exactly who it was, but my brain just would not come up with his name. That's perfect. 
All right, so we're getting there, but we need to. This sucks because I know totally who the actor is for nine, but I have no idea what the heck his name is. Okay, let me think who Lancelot uh, Aramis. He was in Star Trek Picard, which I watched that, but I don't know what the heck that actor's I name is. I he was in him. he was in Heroes as well, but I don't even remember who he played in Heroes. I haven't seen any of these. Oh crap! You oh, are crap. my hero. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So let's see, let's try and work on ones that we might be able to figure out. So number four, actor, singer, Broadway, Curiosity, United 93. So I guess about Flight 93, Hysteria and Smile. Never heard and of someone who was on American Horror Story, which I have not watched any of American Horror Story. I saw one season. He uh, apparently seasons five through eight. I, it wouldn't have been that I saw. Yeah, but do you know that you've been muted all this time? So if you've been saying anything really great, we haven't heard you. Are you talking to me? Well, I was just noticed that you've been muted all this time, and I thought maybe yeah, because I didn't have anything to say. So. Oh. <laughs> You should say, you should say, I all the ones that you've got, I've been yelling at you guys for a long time. Paris Hilton was my only um, one that I even had any ideas on. You think he could have included Bob Denver just to give us one? Oh, oh nice. yeah. Yeah. Um, can can you tell me who what that who that character of Milton? Can you remind me who who that was so I can see if I can come up with the name? Uh, I'm trying to think of which one was Milton. I think was Milton the one that wore the the fishing hat and drove the RV, or was that Dale? Oh, that was Dale. I think that was Dale. Milton. Okay. Politicians. Um... Milton wasn't the brother, was he? That wasn't. No. Michael Rooker. I don't know what was his name. I don't remember what Michael Rooker's character's name was. Okay. I don't guess. I think Milton is one of the more forgettable characters from there. And since it says 2012 to 2013, my guess is they were only on one season. Yeah. Right. Okay. But Hold Owen Cavanaugh on The Good Wife. I've never seen The Good Wife, so I don't know if anybody's seen that and they know. No. I think nope. the first one is just gonna is just there to satisfy this category, but it isn't somebody we really know. Yeah, so it's that like definitely Chelsea. Chelsea wouldn't fit the yeah the is theme a, anyway. Chelsea we is think place, she's older it? than it, it is sure it's like a neighborhood. <laughs> you got us there. Oh yeah. Uh, but Chelsea just because you you sort of more fit. associated as a name and not as a place. But I mean it's, since we don't have anything else. Yeah, I think I'm most most know. names are places somewhere. Yeah, That's, exactly. Well, Obama's 2010. Obama was president. He's no. I don't think his house. kids would have been on there. No, Asha it's like a, if it was, if it wasn't Chelsea Clinton, it's like some maybe some governor's daughter or something. Yeah, it's some low rent politician, I think. <laughs> some low rent. Kyle is casting some shade. Nice. <laughs> I'm recording this. They'll come back for you because I know oh, they're gonna all going to watch me. it. I feel well, there, like, there weren't any like um, politicians like in New York or Boston or someplace like that 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 Rob would know about, like you know? Chris Christie or somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, but then again, who would know what his daughter's name would be? See, right. I vaguely remember this because they were they kept like surviving on the show because I don't yeah. watch the show; I just heard about it because they yeah. kept surviving and they were getting the lowest scores, and so. I remember reading about the death threats. I just have no clue who it was because I don't watch that. Can I'm you like, imagine know. over freaking Dancing with the Stars? I know stars, people, people are people ridiculous. give death threats or any kind of threats like that. They should they should at least have somebody knocking on their door and going, "Hey, you would hope you would think, yeah, that they at least put the fear I, in these people." I feel like if we once we hear the answer to four, I'll be all like, "Oh yeah, 
That, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, of course. Whereas, whereas what's weird is number nine, I know exactly who the actor is. I can picture him. I watched shows that he's in, but I have zero clue what his name is. What is can you he think of good? any other shows that he was in? Well, the other thing that they talked about was the BBC right. series Three Musket or The Musketeers and then Lancelot. What's he Berlin. look like? He's Chilean. Yeah, he has like he's a South four. American vibe. He's, he's dark number hair. Number four, would he be a black man? African-American man? Because he played Prince? Or does that mean nothing? They don't No, know. well, it's just the mass Singer where you wear, you know, a helmet and they don't know who you are was called Prince. So, so it wouldn't be. It could, have been, it could have been just a big giant bobblehead with a with a crown on it. <laughs> it wouldn't necessarily mean Prince the the singer i don't know would, would the chilean oh. actor have a name that's like of, of a south american city maybe maybe like the, <clears throat> sao paulo yeah okay. or something like i'm that. thinking yeah. of like south american actors there's like oscar isaacson there's um oh okay, this is like a young person now right like a yeah. like a my, late they, late 30s, 30s yeah maybe like early age, 40s like, but like a current actor like right now yeah so, but he's um, not all that popular it's not oscar isaac it's nobody that famous um okay so who's south american um or central american or or oh chilean so um uh, what does it mean by team good so he, there's no like santiago guy or anything like that right uh, you, i feel like you're warm <laughs> yeah maybe his last well, name might Chile. be santiago santiago no cincinnati idea. yeah there you go i like it let's put it down yeah, let's put santiago down <laughs> Dude, what if we just have part of the name i wonder if that'll count uh -huh. well the, we're the ones keeping score <laughs> well, except that we're what are you this. suggesting we're Susan. recording this Oh, you should have seen it when you watched the video. There was uh, kind of a scoring issue as whether something would count. And I think it was Mike was just like, well, I'm giving us, uh, us the point. He just pretty much told the 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 person who had that round because they were kind of like, ah, should we give it to him? Like, well, he's like, I'm just giving us the point. Did you <laughs> did it record in your rooms where you were, Ben? I don't know. That's where I was asking about this time, but it could have been since I was sharing a screen a lot, and that's why I didn't notice if it was recording. Well, because it, when it's you're sharing, only a little over two hours long. So yeah. was the entire game two hours long? It was a shorter game because we had so many less people, but also I started the recording later to allow people to to talk, you know, about you whatever they want to talk about seven? without it being your eight eight o'clock. Yeah. So I think it's I think it recorded them because if it didn't record the breakout rooms, right. I think the video would have been like an hour long. Oh, could be, yeah. So that's cool. So we'll be able to see the rooms that you were in. That'll be fun. <laughs> so we should just come up with something for Paris. Paris somebody. <laughs> Another Paris. For John Memphis. Memphis. Memphis is always a good name. Another mm -hmm. Dallas. Let's see. Let's see. Green rolls on Broadway. Unforgettable. The Good Wife. Insatiable. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, I know. I These are some very like. There's too much content now. What's wrong yeah. doing so long? We should be back by now. You would think. I, I'm, probably everyone's in the same boat as us, like struggling very hard to get some of these no, answers. I think everybody's like, boom, they're done. <laughs> they're just chit chatting and rob's i mean we could head back but i hate having questions oh no no answer. no <clears throat> totally pulls us but i just thought it was odd that we're not back yet because i would have thought everybody already knew these except me yeah some well, of these are too, <laughs> some of these are too obscure there's got to be a washington right in here that's common yeah okay name. washington oh yeah um yeah that's a good name to put <laughs> i was just thinking there denzel, was a, denzel. we're just guessing names yeah denzel washington sure he's he wasn't funny. on the walking dead for sure i'll tell you that could he be no, the daughter of a... would he have been number four 
But somebody else. I don't think he was Washington, an American Horror Story. Somebody else named Washington could have been in either one. Could be the answer for either one of these. Right. We could put Washington for both of them. Mr. Washington. Well, that's <laughs> what I want to know is Will Harry Washington. Uh, who is that? Oh no, these both. So should we just put Washington? So if we get it, get the first name men. wrong. So yeah, let's just put. Washington. It'll count. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna give ourselves that point, <laughs> Mister. We're, we're kind of we're kind of stretching it here, but you know, <laughs> we got an answer for everything now. God only knows what's right. Are they what's right not. or not? I don't know. God yeah. only knows. Yeah. God and Rob. <laughs> yes, exactly. And if he doesn't, he'll say he does. So hmm. that's how you do. That's gonna bug me because I feel like mm. four. I'll probably be like, oh, that person. Oh yeah, you know, it might be somebody. Do you think that you actually know the person's name, or is it just somebody you recognize but might not know their name? I uh, probably know it, as opposed to like nine, where I totally know the actor. I just have no clue what his name is. Yeah, because he's just not. I'm like, I don't really pay attention to, to yeah. that actor. There, there, there are a lot of actors who I recognize across, you know, time you know i've seen them a million times but i don't even know their names right i would think you guys playing all this trivia all these uh, for the last 131 games you would be paying attention to the credits and stuff more often <laughs> just saying or you know have people less obscure in your answers well <laughs> you know i don't know all right let's go back I, I'm give it, I give all right, it we got right. an answer for everything if someone all has right. some divine inspiration before they read the answers you can good job team and I'll change it <clears throat> leaf breaker not in meeting for all right okay I am so tired Jane <laughs> <laughs> yeah me too I hear you God. We just went up to San Francisco and back and I really? just got back. Yeah. And it's like last night. So we had to go. We knew we were going to stay the night. And so I, I said, here's my backpack. Just put a couple clothes in it. I think there's a toothbrush in here somewhere. <laughs> I went up there and I had, I, I, I guess I was okay, but still it just didn't feel like I didn't have a brush with me or anything like that. So I just washed my hair and put it in a ponytail. I didn't even um, comb my hair. I had packed my suitcase and put the locks on it already. And then I remembered, I realized I had not brushed my hair yet, but I had a plastic fork, <laughs> which I learned this from Ariel in the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this plastic fork and I just- I'm glad I'm recording this. <laughs> and I, I had a plastic in Disney knife. Movies. I had a plastic knife to make the part in my hair and then the plastic fork <laughs> <laughs> this is the main room are you guys done yeah wow oh, good, I... good job people are struggling oh well, well i didn't I say think you should call them all back i now. just said we're done <laughs> <laughs> i said i'm done i'm out of here difference? call them back rob we were wondering what was taking so long yeah i'm like nobody's got them done except for you apparently um we have we an answer put, for everyone. We, we, have a secret, we have a secret strategy. Put one name on everything. We just put Washington as the answer. To <laughs> Washington. Washington. <laughs> Call them back, Rob. I want them all back here right now. All right, here we go. Right so now. So gonna, I'm going to tell them to yell at you. Okay, it's fine. So what else is new? It never happens. Nobody ever yells at me. Uh. Somebody was complaining my things were too long. I mean, if I gave half of the clues in each one, then we even still wouldn't know them. Well, I said, well, oh, you just really you didn't you just took Washington. Was, that no, we know? knew we knew a couple, oh, but okay. yeah. we we, we uh, guessed at the rest. We just gave up. We said, you know, these are some obscure people. I don't no, know. they're no, they are not. Oh we yeah, we're gonna put Bob Denver for everything. It just didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> he was dancing on the stars and he's the daughter of some political person every so one of these people has a full-blown wikipedia page i will tell you i was so disappointed michael york wasn't on there rob mm -hmm. bob denver was so did vincent get disconnected or something why is he not here he, he wasn't in the room and he's not here our room. 
Well, I know that uh, Kevin had to jump back in. I haven't seen Vincent. Hmm. Nobody's trying to get in. Uh, Lori, uh, Robin's friend, hasn't tried to get in. I haven't seen anything. Hmm. My and sound was getting wonky, and I had to leave our breakout room. And then I ended up realizing I wasn't in the game. And then I, but I got back in without even, you know, it was just clicking on uh, um, Zoom a zoom just a random zoom thing that was on my um on my uh monitor anybody have uh, vincent's number to text and see what's going on adrian knows it seems like there's like the things are freezing a little more than usual adrian has vanished adrian's oh, vanished too gosh. maybe it's a canadian problem unless she's oh, just no, there's not something happening in canada now the Canadian Unless she just become vent. No, oh, Canadian's what? here. I'm Canadian. She's no oh, longer vent the transparent. Canadian. Adrian is here. Okay. Adrian, you're on mute. What's the issue? Vincent's we don't know where Vincent is. Oh. What if Elon Musk bought Canada and inspired everybody? <laughs> <laughs> inspired everybody. Wendy, you got back in this game? Yes. Because oh, I never, I didn't let you in. So you, something, you must have just let yourself in. That's cool. Wendy's a hacker. <laughs> It was like was a weak good. signal. It was a weak signal and it dropped out and then she popped back in. Oh, that makes sense. So she didn't have to come back in. Okay. okay. Well, somebody, I don't know. So Adrian... Vincent, uh, his computer crashed. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh, he's he's having some luck. I, I, he doesn't know what's going on. And uh... Okay. Well, at least we know he. it wasn't Twitter and Elon canceled him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him we thought Elon had canceled him. Yeah, we were worried. <laughs> Does he want to call me and I'll put him on speakerphone and he can play with us over the phone? But he's in he's in Calgary. He's yeah, that would I have I have it for North America. Well he's not in uh, uh maybe he'll maybe I'll fix it right now. Okay. Okay, are we ready? I yeah. still think it should be quote marks around the word celebrities. He's ain't celebrities. Yeah, I, yeah. they're just like well, celebrity is, like D or G. Celebrity or... is a lower tier than star. And <laughs> the people who are on Dancing with the Stars are like ridiculously not stars sometimes. So here we go. Number one, Bristol. Uh, oh, we oh, have heard of my her. Gosh. Boo. Nice death teeth, threats. though. She has death lovely teeth. From yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Now, this does make sense. She yeah. look, that looks like an AI. Brooklyn Decker. Uh huh. Oh, oh, right. Wow. You know what? When she grows up and I looks back on this picture so of herself, she'll say, "Wow." <laughs> she'll say, "Crazy for trivia." Bryce Dallas Howard. Ah. Oh, I thought Bryce. it was might be her. I forgot to mention her. It was. Yeah, I got I never heard of her. I, I knew. It yeah, was she's Howard. a Ron, Ron Howard's daughter. Ron Howard's daughter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh is that right? Oh. I've heard of yeah. him. Village by. Uh, in... Would you like to know the story of her name? Yes. Okay. She she was conceived in the Bryce Canyon oh. and born in Dallas. <laughs> Very or good. Other, or it might be the other way around. I'm not positive. Which yeah, way. Were they going sure. west or were they going east? I guess. Mm. Maybe she'll pass in Howard. So, so, I so. certainly <laughs> hope she wasn't born in Bryce Canyon. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a lot of facilities in Bryce Canyon. So, for, so for the theme, by people. the way, it wasn't just a place. They were all cities. So so I didn't go with Bryce Canyon there. But yeah, they were all cities. Uh, and this is two cities, Cheyenne and Jackson. Oh. What, is, what is this guy so mad about? Because <laughs> he's trying to do something with his eyes. He's using because his mom, no actually. one knows who he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his mom named him Cheyenne. <laughs> what smells bad? What, what smells bad around him? Number five is Dallas, Robert. Another Dallas. Oh, uh, another Dallas. What a mm. we could have Orlando done Bloom. I heard a lot of people getting this. Oh, we got him. He, yeah, we he got is him. much handsomer as an elf. Yes, yeah. he is. <laughs> I agree. Yes. <laughs> Number seven is, of course, Paris. Hilton. Phew. Yeah. That's hot. I <laughs> <don't know what laughs> <you see. laughs> Another Paris, Jackson. Yeah. Look at those eyes. My I gosh. Know. Are they real? <laughs> Santiago like Cabrera. Hey, did we get that one? <laughs> well, we said Santiago. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I say we. I say that one counts. <laughs> and Sydney Pollock. I didn't hear anybody hey. get that. Oh, that guy. Okay, we got that. Th Wait, thank we you, Jane. Yep. 
Oh, we got okay. Sydney. We had Sydney Pollock. Yeah, we had multiple people that knew that. Okay. A C K is it P O L O A C K? You have to say hi to Mark, everybody. Hey, Mark. Mark, say hi to people. Hey, Mark. Hi, hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. was directed by Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, you got that I question wrong. Mark. I know you. Know. You were at Psycon. Yeah, yeah, some did. I think some people are still wrong. some people are still at the airport in Vegas. No. Well, <laughs> we, 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 we we discussed that too, but by that, that person. Yeah. It's what time did Sterling get home, Susan? Well, so late, like, oh, like he was involved in nine o'clock at night or something. Oh, that's that's right. He only his flight was only at nine in the morning. Yeah, I know. And Carolyn, um, since you're new, you have to know that uh, absolutely to get a point, you have to have everything right, including the spelling, the capitalization, <laughs> everything. He's lying. He's you lying. Get nothing. You get nothing. Mm -hmm. you, get, you don't. She's lying. You get the golden ticket. You get nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Okay, now. James, James is taking okay. exception to Wikipedia's uh, thing of the IY shut, so we'll have to look that up. I didn't see no, the no, director. No, right. Kubrick said his films correct. include. Kubrick did uh, direct Eyes Wide Shut. So it yeah. says his, his film. Pollock was in it, but he All didn't. All right, there you go. His films right. include, so it's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay, good. So now we're going to go to the fun part of trying to figure out what the scores are. It'd take me half an hour. Oh, I didn't get the little, where's that little stupid little thing? That, oh, there it is. Hold on. Let me drag that little blue thing down here. What are you talking about? You know, to make the scores do something. Okay. Your spreadsheet it. Oh, needs to be updated. You know. <laughs> Copy down. It might Copy take down. an hour to do Carolyn this. Carolyn has a cat. Okay. You're officially in the club, Carolyn. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at that kitty. <laughs> that seals the deal for sure. Jack oh. is over Maybe. there. My How old is that kitty? About... Hamilton, come here and he's say hi. probably about seven, maybe, yeah, seven months now, I think. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he kitty. looks like my cat. Look at that. He's a lovely oh. kitty. Okay. And Jack so will in... probably crawl all over me, too. Oh, look at the world. Oh. 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 So you're uh, uh, Bob, show us the chickens. So, <laughs> and then, the, and then there was the person who, uh, who uh, wondered why people objected to uh, club baby seals. Look at the chickens. See the chickens, Carolyn. Yes, I did see the kitten. So there is another kitten on me now. So this is Jack, but I don't know if you can see him. You yeah, can we see his tail. So you can see part of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jack. here we go. Here goes the categories. I'm going to call out and you guys give me your scores. So we're completely, completely partial. Okay. Ten. Whatever. Yay is a yuck. Five. <laughs> Thanks to cocaine, we got one. A five. I can't wait to tell that to Mark. This is Caspian's team. <laughs> He'll be like, what? We're trying to get a name, but Elon fired us. Six. And Rob's team. Please Enable two FA. Seven. Yes. We you didn't take it. <laughs> Not the lowest score. Yes. Not the lowest Second score. Second highest. Pretty good. Seven you, you did all oh, right, Rob. Me, the the, the um, curse didn't kill us this time. Yeah. So, Carolyn, there, we joke about a curse that when uh -oh. you leave your team, that they get the lowest score, and that ha does happen quite a lot, actually. Okay. Well, yeah, because sorry the best... in advance, because I'm going at nine. So. <laughs> oh. It's, it's, Wait it's a the second. category curse. Okay, I need to. It's I need a, some help with these scores. How do I make this thing work? It's not working. Well, we can't I see it. The average. You're not sharing your screen, so we don't know what you're talking about. Okay, hold on. Let me do it right now. And 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 also, Susan is a, an expert with Excel <laughs> formulas. And you are going to see that right now. Expert. How do I make this? How do I make this? Uh, go up to the one above. This one? Go, go up to, yeah, at the very top. Click and it. just click that. Like, click, click where it click says... It. <laughs> it says 27 right there. Uh huh. And then you got to copy the formula. Okay. You do that on Google. Yeah, paste it. Right. Paste copy it, it and then paste it there. There you go. And then drag down with a little. Oh, button. look at that. See how Deborah she teaches me. Uh, had, had, I, had I known, I could have set that up uh, last week for you. But where's the zero? Why is it zero? 
copy one in in car. Because you didn't do sum. In... You have to do a sum for the other one. So no, under... the, no, the Cop... zero. No, the zero oh. is that row that has no numbers in it. Oh, no. Right. Susan, yes. is that oh. Susan? Is that your number for what room you were in and what the score was? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Put the cursor right. on 1280, the, the number on the far left, and uh, which is the row number. See far left, 1280, 1280, go up. Yeah, and copy that. Now go down to where 12, 1288 and paste. There you go. Oh. Well done, Rob. Oh my gosh, the stress. I missed taking a break now. <laughs> oh. The thing is, it, you know, it's that not hard. It's, the problem is, is everybody yells it out at the at once and you all have a different way of doing it. So somebody like, Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I've been out for a while. What is that bottom row number? Her average. Oh, hey, my average. Just the average of all the games. Yeah, um, it used to be. It used the, to be Susan's rooms. Now it's just the average score. She gets up on that. I think see why. On the, on the second level. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no idea. Well, I'm I'm love you, Karen. You're so sorry. Guys, how many rounds have we done so far? Oh. Uh, tonight go go yes. go we finished the first over oh. all of the games a lot <laughs> yeah we did a lot we've got five thousand questions okay here we go gail yeah you're up okay you have permissions so you just uh, set the yeah. record for the longest questions no oh, uh, i think i'm not going to win it tonight oh, okay the category tonight in honor of the day is halloween candy Oh, yeah. I love milk it. Dog! Oh, we did with this without reason. Last please. week, um, milk duds. <laughs> milk duds. <laughs> okay. And milk. Unmute yourself, Gail. Nummy num nums. Okay. Question one. The candy store, which is a company, uh, did a survey of over 15,000 people about their favorite candy. Which candy was rated as either number one, two, or three? You just need to pick one of those. You don't have to say which one it is, just that it was one of the Right. Something that always ends in the top three. Right. Okay, number two. Win, place, or show. Exactly. Is this for Halloween only or throughout the year? Um, I don't know, because they didn't say. They just, they were talking about Halloween, so I assume it was at Halloween. But they just asked people their favorite candy. Number two. What candy was rated as the worst in the same survey? Any again from the top three? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The bottom three or the top? What does that mean? The, no, they the asked the two bottom. questions. What are the best candies and what are the worst candies? What is it that came through in the top and the bottom three all the time? Like, well, the top three of the ones that are the worst. Yeah, okay. that's it. That's two a good survey way questions. One was yeah. what is the best candy? One is the other was what is the worst candy? What is your worst candy? Okay. Question three. Candy corn used to have a different name when it was first created. What was it? Yay. <laughs> corn. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Question four. <laughs> this is a true or false. Many parents worry about drug candy or candy with hidden sharp objects. In reality, the only documented case of children being poisoned with Halloween candy was a father who gave poison candy to his son and attempted to cover his crime by giving some to his daughter and three other children. Parenthetically, the other children did not eat it. Okay. Question five. During World War II, the United Nations troops put out a call for mortar shells. They were mistakenly given this candy. 
it turned out that it was actually very useful to patch up holes in vehicles and was a food that soldiers could easily eat in cold temperatures. What candy was it? Question six. A popular American candy was originally introduced in Japan where it now comes in more than 350 flavors, including wasabi, sweet potato, butter, and chili. What is it? Chili? Yeah. Those are the flavors in Japan. It's a popular American candy, though. Not with 350 flavors. Okay, question seven. We call it candy. But the Brits have another name, and Australia and New Zealand have another name. They, they use the same one. Give one of these two other names. Question eight, true or false? Candy is the major culprit in the approximately 2.5 pounds of sugar that the average American eats each week. And I will tell you that the 2.5 pounds of sugar is not the problem. That is a correct number. Okay, question nine is a multiple choice. And you can yell at me, Rob, because it's long. I think it's already obvious you didn't surpass Rob this week. I thought that would be the case, yes. Yeah. Okay, there are four items. One of them is not true. A, during the 1930s and 1940s, candy bars were often, often marketed as replacements for lunch. B, vegetarians may be eating gelatin derived from animal collagen if they eat marshmallows or gummy bears. Licorice, C, licorice is still sometimes used as a medicinal substance obtained from the fruit of a flowering plant. While the health benefits are still inconclusive, there are clear dangers for large amounts or long exposures that include bad effects on blood pressure, the heart, and the kidneys, or D, the trick or treat custom has been in America since children in the 19th century. America would go door to door to beg for fruits, nuts, toys, or coins. And of course, I mean on Halloween. Okay. One of those is not true. The other three are true. Question 10. Halloween trick-or-treating came to the U.S. with the immigrants from what country? And there is a bonus. And I made it the bonus because it's hard and I like bonuses. <laughs> well then. <laughs> True or false and a bonus. You're a rebel. I am. I uh, bonus. According to a National Confectioners Association poll, what percentage of Americans buy Halloween candy to give out since the COVID pandemic in 2019 and 2020 so that we have the data plus or minus 10 points? That's it. I, need I have a question. Okay. On what number eight, uh, you mentioned American uh, eats each week. So are we to say that that is only food and not beverages? Or just consumption or just consumption in general yeah it's the i'm saying that we do in fact eat 2.5 pounds of sugar that's not false but the question is is sugar mostly coming from the candy right but again you say eat so ingested. that is specifically food and not no not necessarily meaning consume because okay. you can okay, get sugar you. from other ways so yeah. on, on number five, are you sure you have the right war? Because there was no United Nations during World War II. Okay. I, I, I thought could... that I thought that it started out as being the Allies. 
Nations. Uh, so maybe that was what it was. But well, wasn't there a United Nations technically before they didn't do anything? There was, there, the, there was the League of Nations. United Nations yeah, until that. after World War II. Then it became the UN. Yeah, I can't believe you're arguing about that after question. After there were no United Nations troops in World well, War II. Well, you're doing it. I'm going to look that up because I did copy that from a source that said it was the United Nations troops. So I will look oh, that I'm up. I'm thinking maybe it's yeah. the Korean War. Korean War, yeah. yeah. Well, it definitely said World War II, but I'm going to check it. Yeah. Um, uh, I heard, Let's see. I have heard that UN was a term that got attached to the Allies. That's what I'm thinking. Before probably, yeah. 1945. I, I, I believe I that it, it was World War II, not the Korean War, just because of the way the candy was used. United Nations was a term that was applied to the Allies during the Second World War. It was not an official organization, but it was a term that was used. There you go. But there you have an answer. Okay, and almost you have a irrelevant anyway. Let's go to our rooms. Go to your room. <laughs> that requires somebody to send us to our rooms. Jane, you want to do it? I Jane, did it. Morgan? Didn't you get it? No. I did it. Oh, there they go. So I guess I'm going. Ah. Hello, team. Hello, hello, my team. What the hell is that, Bob? Oh, <laughs> is your hand okay? Hello, team. Yeah, give him a hand. Okay. I, think I actually could know. I like some of the ones, like the last category. I know. I might know one or two. Okay, I think number one is probably. Who, who's keeping notes? Not me. I am. I'll keep them. Snickers. Snickers. I put Milky Way. What did you say, Susan? Snickers. I think it's Snickers. The candy. Okay. Uh, we'll put Snickers. Any chance uh, Hershey bars? Oh, okay. So this is this is uh, much more specific than something like chocolate or, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, Hershey chocolate. bars, yes, but there's chocolate. lots of different kinds of Hershey bars, so it might not be. Yeah. And I think number two is candy corn. That's what I put, candy corn. <laughs> Everyone hates it. I'll eat it. Candy corn used to have a different name. What was it? Okay. Good and Don't plenty. Know. I put good and plenty. Good and plenty sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or, that, that's what comes up a lot. But yeah, whatever the group thinks. I don't, I'm not. I'm inclined to suspect that number four is true, that uh, it's. That, that that rumor was almost entirely untrue. I think it is. Um, yeah, I think I just I, I just listened to a podcast about Halloween candy, and I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure they mentioned that the one poisoning was a father. Oh, I know it's true because I, I we had this as a uh, question a long time ago around Halloween. Okay. So yeah, he did kill his child. Ah. Okay, okay. That's true. And he was doing it for his insurance. Okay, so something to patch up holes in vehicles. It could be licorice, it could be jelly beans. Taffy. Taffy. Okay, well, hang on. It would not be licorice because licorice and uh, winter time don't go well together. They they it freezes and it hard it's hard like rock. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's what you want. You, you want it to freeze and harden. Uh, but it said uh, it was easy to eat. Oh, easily eaten cold weather. Oh, right. So would taffy or like a... Okay, well, gee. Uh, gee, when I had toffee, I tend to... What would be something fridge. called a mortar then, shell that they thought that they were ordering? I know. Well, some, maybe it's a shell, some kind of shell candy. So I don't know. Um, what's a shell candy? m and M. But that wouldn't be used for. No. I don't think M and M's invent or existed in World War II. I think it's some sort of taffy, because I mean, all you got to do is hold it in your hand for a moment, and it'd probably get warm enough to eat, right? No, but that doesn't make sense. How would you no. put it in holes in vehicles? It, okay, if it's if it's something that uh, that softens under heat, and then you and then you put it in the hole, 
And it freezes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now it seems to me that when I when I ate toffee, I tended to chill it a lot, then smash it so I'd have lots of little pieces that I could <laughs> just eat a bit. So 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 some sort of toffee, I think, would work for that. I don't know. Number six is probably jelly bellies or jelly nope, yeah. nope, 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 nope. Because this kind of this came up a few uh, a month or two ago. They're they're um, uh, uh, tootsie rolls. I think we had a we had a whole category on tootsie rolls. Oh. Or I think, and remember what? all those gaz those gazillion flavors of tootsie rolls. I, th I thought it was tootsie rolls. Tootsie, tootsie rolls definitely could plug holes in jeeps. <laughs> no, no, number six, number six. 350 flavors, including wasabi, sweet potato, butter, and chili. We had an Oreo category. Oh, maybe it was Oreos. Yeah. Maybe it was Oreos. No, there was a Tootsie Roll. No, but wasn't there? There was. A, I thought it was a Tootsie Roll category. I've seen a few flavors of Tootsie Roll, but not. Well, but you know, you maybe you maybe we also had an Oreo cookie one. So maybe that is yeah. the, maybe that is the one. You're right. Yeah. I, well, I know I that put, there's like, every flavor beans. I put I Jelly Belly. Um, I know there's a lot of flavors of Jelly Bellies. Yeah, thirty bucks. Yeah, and the, you can see the but it, Japanese going with all the wasabi and stuff like that. But yeah, there's there's. I just put Jelly Beans was my guess for that. No, it's different. Jelly Jelly Beans are those bigger ones that are sugar on the and they're, well, they're, and they're like ten flavors. But the Jelly Bellies are the ones that are like a. But jelly not, belly but not in Japan. They may have other ones in Japan. I I, I think yeah. who said it? Uh, Bob, did you say about Oreo cookies? Who said Oreo cookies? I did. Well, that's not candy, but I I put Jelly yeah. Bellies too, because they well, have in America the what fifty flavors or something. So you can see Japan taking that and yeah, I think it's Jelly Bellies. I, I'm yeah. thinking I'm thinking it's Tootsie Rolls because that that came up that came up uh, not that long ago in a question, but I won't. Jelly Bellies I, haven't I been around that long. Jelly Bellies. Were around. Was well, it just say Ronald just Reagan eat them or something? Oh, number uh, yeah, six, no. a popular American candy. It doesn't say a year. Yeah. And remember, yeah. whenever it was Doctor Who, um, uh, the guy who had the big scarf. Yeah, jelly he, babies. Jelly babies. Those were jelly jelly babies. Yeah, they were little. Babies. Yeah. Little. By the way, did we actually come to a consensus on five? No. Uh, no, okay. Jelly Bellies. I don't remember Jelly Bellies back in the '80s because it was Tom Baker. Yeah, was at the Tom end Baker of the did. '70s. Yeah, at the end of the '70s, and I don't remember Jelly Bellies going back that far. And I don't, I don't think I remember the, ever having seeing Jelly Bellies in Canada. I thought so Jelly Bellies and Jelly Babies. Babies were the same thing. No, no, Jelly Babies are a traditional English to be like a gummy. Shaped like a little person or something, like a like a little like gummy bears. Yeah, but a, but like a little kid or little baby. Yeah, jelly babies. Yeah. Are there three hundred and fifty flavors, including wasabi? But it's, it says popular American candy, and I know you can go to the store and get those. Like, they've got them like in a little container, and it's got like little apothecary jars. Yeah. Or they, they have little plastic bins and it has the names of all of them on it. Yeah. And they're yeah. in all sorts of weird flavors. Those are jelly bellies. Belly. Belly, yeah. Leonard, we don't know who you're talking to, if anybody here, or if you're just trying to say you're crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, and, and number seven is sweets. Yeah, that's what sweets right. is what I'm always sweets. Sweet. Yeah. That's what I'm the other word. Okay. I don't know the sweet, New Zealand. Um, sweet. What is a sweet meat? You always hear in storybooks sweet meats. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think that, I don't know if those are candies or is that something else? No, no. I think it's a sweet meat, like a I don't oh. know. And bonbons, you know. That's yeah, that's French. Bonbons yeah. is just okay. French for candy. Uh, number eight, I, I think it's false because I think it's sodas. Sodas. Yeah. I don't think it's candy. So it's a so it's approximately a kilo. <laughs> sure. Well, it's in because it's uh, it's uh, there's sugar in everything we eat just about. It seems but I like. think there's a lot in soda. Yeah, That's it's like Coca Cola. It's Coca Cola. It's so full of sugar. It's like I think it's twenty three teaspoons or something are in one can of Coke. 
Yeah, I think adults. So, really oh, it's false. Mm -hmm. Yeah, false. I agree. Because false. Yeah, because they always say that's the first thing to cut out, not candy, but so it is. Now, in my office, candy is the culprit. Yeah, it, we always right here, chocolate. candy is the culprit. Yeah. <laughs> I um, don't so, drink Coke. So, number nine was a really good one, but I think the answer is A, is the fake one. So, B is definitely true. Yeah, B, yeah. B, B and C are true, I think. C is true. D yeah. is, I think. Pretty it's sure. I don't, pretty I don't sure think D is true. Hershey's really? bar for anybody? <laughs> Halloween candy is just really bad, especially when it goes on sale. You're like, oh, but it's 50% off. <laughs> I'll get a bag. Yeah, well, my wife won't buy the good. She buys the good stuff, but she tells me not to open them until the other bugs, because she knows I'll eat them. So um, <laughs> I, I got to make sure that I, I tell enough to at least open one of those bags. Now that the kids are out of the house, I have no excuse. I just open them. Nine, you think you think A is? I think it's A. It's the wrong one. Okay. Because oh, right. yes. the other ones are definitely true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, market is replacements for lunch. Uh, I don't know. That's that seems unlikely. <laughs> okay. Number ten. Where would All Hallows Day come from? Ireland. But that, so that but the question isn't about how about All Hallows Eve. It's no, about well, the trick or treat custom. Germany. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Halloween don't know. and trick or treat. So. Ireland. Our, most of our Halloween stuff comes from Ireland, so I don't, I don't know if trip or treating is included. A lot of American things come from Ireland because there's so many Irish immigrants. I don't know the answer. Yeah, so we got Christmas trees from Germany. Jack o' lanterns, Halloween, oh, you know, All Hallows Eve. Yeah, I always heard it was Ireland. Yeah. Was Ireland Canada. sounds good. Why not? Yeah, I think so. I hope it's right. I hate being sure. Okay, now the bonus is confusing because how many, what percentage of Americans buy Halloween candy, which is like all of them, and then the, if is it to give out because we buy it and we don't give it. <laughs> I thought we eliminated bonuses. We, we did, but Gail, Gail's sweet, so we let her keep it. Right. She snuck it in on us. So they I aren't eliminated, it, they are discouraged. So if you say, how many buy Halloween candy to give out? I think it's like 20%. I think, yeah, but I think. I think to buy it, it's you, probably more like how 40. You, yeah, but how would you know that they'd have to ask, well, what'd you get it for? And, you know, I, I think it's just, I, I think you should, the idea is how much did sales drop off during no, the, I, during the they could have the american okay national confession confectioners associate could have done a poll and said how many of you are yeah, they had a halloween gotta, candy this year you got to come up with a number because they're remembering remember that so many um households 20. are completely urban like in new york city who goes trick-or-treating in an apartment building um I don't so, know, a lot of people don't think lots of people twenty percent are we, okay. are we on a timer? Guys, we have to pick yeah. some real quick. It's 20 is what I say. What do you guys say? Hurry. Well, we have to pick two numbers, right? One 2019 and one 2020. No, no, no. no. 20. 20. Is what year? 20 do it. Is it. Do it. That's really funny that I can't see the clock countdown clock. I must have, and I've got three screens open. I don't know why. I can't see okay. when it's countdown. Are we ready for the answer? That was fun. And I had to have a, anybody a Tootsie Roll? That was really yeah. fun. I will, I, I will give you those. the, I'll give you the answers verbally and then I'll put them all in the chat, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. For number one, I think one and two were the ones that people had the biggest discussions about from when I was walking around. Uh, what was the favorite candy? <laughs> Any one of the following three counts. Number one was peanut butter cups. Number two was M and M's, and number three was Snickers. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the worst one in the same survey? Number one, circus peanuts. 
I heard one team talking ooh, about ooh, it. Awful. That's Number what they're two. called. We were thinking of it. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I almost used that. I almost had a what, question about what that. What is name. a circus? Nobody team. knows why they're called. Giant orange things. things. They look they're like orange. the one yeah, they give they, to Dumbo. And they're yeah, banana they like flavor. Oh, they're soft. It looks they taste like an orange flavor, colored packing peanut. <laughs> do, do, I was say, do we get credit if we called them packing peanuts? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Only he said orange colored. What, what else Number was there? two, and I think several teams got this one, was candy corn. Yay. Yay. Oh. And the surprising number three, in my opinion, was peanut butter kisses. What? Oh, Those are gross. They're oh, gross. Man. Sorry. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. They're disgusting. I pressed for black licorice and I was wrong. Yeah, we yeah. put that yeah, we black we licorice. Right. Dang it. You're the egged. the you article I read that mentioned peanut butter kisses says they're neither a Reese's nor a kisses. <laughs> I don't know if well, I, those are problem. those puffy ones. Those are those puffy things. They're awful. Oh, the circus the peanuts and black ones. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, candy corn's different name. It was originally called chicken feed. Oh, oh. chicken feed. Oh. Chicken feed. Oh. Diabetic chicken, chicken feed. feed. We had a much better name though. <laughs> Which call was yours? Close. And question, teeth. question four is true. Uh, the father, Ronald Clark O'Brien, was convicted of murder and given a death sentence. Right, buddy, I'm getting up in a minute, son. okay? <laughs> My puppy. She's telling her puppy mm. that she's going to give him some candy corn with a razor. You'll meet George, <laughs> yeah. Carolyn, you'll get to meet George and you will love him. I'm, I'm sure I will. Number four, number four is uh, he gave him a pixie stick. Yeah. Oh. You know, those little long things. That I like love those. Oh, they're so good. Oh, so good. Wow. And he tried to give it to the other into. three children, but they didn't eat it. He was doing it for insurance reasons. God. Kill his kids so he can get it because his kid was oh, Horrible. Yeah, That's why he got the death sentence. Mm. Okay. And number five, the candy, and I know at least one team got it, was Tootsie Rolls. Yay. Oh, Yay. And they explained that the reason for the mistake was apparently Tootsie Roll was a code name that they were using for the for the mortar shell. Oh they my asked, gosh! They asked for Tootsie Roll. They didn't they, understand it was a code uh, name, and they gave them the actual Tootsie Roll. Oh, oh that's, that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh boy! Yeah, there's yeah yeah there's so many code names and things. Uh, Fine. And yet the oh. Allies won the war. <laughs> Despite of all, but that, they turned yeah. out that they found uses for it, so it's okay. I don't understand the part could easily eat in cold <laughs> temperatures regarding tootsie because it wasn't going to melt. Carry well, them in your pocket. Other candy doesn't melt. Licorice doesn't yeah. melt. Uh, candy corn doesn't. Nobody melt. likes it though. This is your this is your homework for the week. Get a tootsie <laughs> roll and put and it. We just in said pocket. you missed it yeah. when you put it in your pocket. Yeah, exactly. It sticks everywhere. Of course, if you leave or it in there and then you sit down and it kind of bleeds through your clothes, so, you, so you know, what you mean is, is more difficult to eat in warm weather. Is that what you're saying, Kevin? No, no. it doesn't melt in your pocket in cold weather. Um, where the chocolate bar gets would melt in, in your pocket in cold but weather. Neither would licorice no, it, or candy it corn. It's soft in your pocket, but nobody it likes melt. those. It does. <laughs> like chocolate bar will melt in your pocket. Fine, but that's not the only kind of candy. No, cool but Rob, you might have Rob, some, the question might get ready to eat everybody. All the possible options. What candy? Go on. Let's get just along. What did yeah, they do on, with said. these tootsie rolls? Okay. okay. Six. Six. That it was Confusing data perfect. for no reason. Number six. Number yeah. six are Kit Kat. And apparently, it was a yes. previous question. I forgot. Oh no! Yes, we did it. <laughs> yeah, it was my bonus. Flavors of Kit Kats in Japan. Well, you were right. Yeah. You're yes. right, Alan. That it, we had done this before, but it was wrong. That it was right. We thought it was um, jelly belly. You know, so I thought Tootsie Rolls too. I, Tootsie I Rolls. Kit Kat, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Kit Kats. That's right. She did it. Okay. Question seven is: What do the British or Australians and 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 New Zealanders call it? The British call them sweets, and if you were thinking about Australia, they call them lollies. Lollies. Oh, lollies. So either lollies. one. Get your lolly here. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> True or false for number A, it is false. Yes. Amazingly, although we eat 2.5 pounds of sugar, 95% of that comes from soft drinks and processed foods. Huh? Yep. 
And which of the following is not true? I think you almost all got this one. I, I know when I heard did, the answer is D. A, ah! B, and C are correct. Oh, I thought it was it was... 17th century America. It never appeared until the 20th century in America. Oh. And what did it, it, they did go door to door, but they started by playing tricks. And that's where the trick or treat comes from. Uh, in like the 1930s, they decided to add treats to stop the kids from doing the tricks. So okay. in the 1930s and 40s, they thought candy, they marketed candy as lunch? Yeah. Well, the people another... were very, remember that was the depression and people were very poor and a candy bar is cheaper than eggs yeah there there's so, like baby ruth as where they talk calories, about how much energy right? it gives hey, you I have, yeah i have candy bars for lunch all the time i don't know what the problem <laughs> it, is it's got, dex <laughs> it's got dextrose in it susan <laughs> yeah, so, yeah and also nowadays they're trying to market snickers bars it's a very fulfilling snack because it has peanuts in it. Yeah. And I, I, from what I heard one team talking about for B, B is true. It's not true of all uh, gummy bears and marshmallows. Some of them are still made from, are made from vegetarian products, but some of them are still made from animal products. So if you I want to be that. strict vegetarian, you've got to check on that. Peanuts, and anybody? I was... <laughs> I was reasoning that sugar would have been um, during the depression would have been highly regulated or rationed and harder to get than other foods. And so canceled out. Yeah. That. Well, they still were marketing it and that's yeah. how they marketed it. Interesting. Oh. Thank Number you. 10, Halloween came to the U.S. with the immigrants from Ireland. And I You're know right. that one. I would never have gotten that. It might be that's where we, we didn't have it before the Irish came. And that's so, why it's so we put the this. we put the UK. Is Ireland part of the UK? No. 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 Part, part of Ireland no. is Ireland no. Is no. Country. no. Part of Ireland is. No. No, Rob. Northern no. Ireland is no. not Ireland. You go to Ireland and say that. No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> it depends what year you're talking about. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't well, even be. the part of Ireland that is part of the UK still distinguishes itself as being Ireland. I mean, like, here's a good example. When the queen died, my mom felt like she couldn't even post anything about it because all of the family and friends would be annoyed at her for posting that. Because <laughs> they're Irish. Because they don't acknowledge her as the queen because they don't want to be part of the UK. Like, there's a good example. That's a very good example. But that's now. This is when this happened. The immigrants might have no. been 1800s. 1800s? No. Oh. This, is, this is today. No. It's Ireland. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Okay, and I didn't know that the bonuses were now out, so I put in a bonus, and the the answer is seventy four percent. On the way. Oh, wow. Anything between sixty four and eighty four. Wow. Uh, within the wow. With the Even with the pandemic, in fact, apparently when they did the survey, uh, some parents actually said we need it more than ever. I do remember that. Yeah, me And half an hour before right. this thing started, I watched a show on the history of Halloween, which is how we got nine and ten. Yay. <laughs> oh, no, boo. Yay. <laughs> boo Are you psychic? Fun. You're psychic. psychic. <laughs> so I, put the answers, I put the answers in there, and just in case anybody is interested, um, I... <laughs> Here are the, the total list of the top 10. I was thinking originally about using it as a bonus, but I couldn't figure out how to do it well, so. Gail, Gail, did you post the answers? I don't see them in the chat. I don't see them. I did. I just They're posted them. Hit enter. No. They're not there. They're not there. There's psychic powers and hit enter. <laughs> I just got a, a text from Robin. I didn't even know I was in contact with her. They show saying, on my on my thing that they were there. Hi, Rob. Do we have trivia tonight? Oh, I, I see what happened. I I I in, incorrectly. Robin sent here. It. Robin is here. Robin's here. Hello. I incorrectly Robin sent it to just actually, Rob. I thought I think you answered. Oh, Jamie me. got it. No, nope, I didn't answer you. Oh, Jamie got, got it. it because oh. not me. He, we had we she had didn't have I didn't have my phone till this minute. Changed oh, yeah. to mm -hmm. everyone. Gail and Jamie are chit chatting about us. Well, I wasn't, therefore, I didn't know Jamie was chit chatting with me and it changed my thinking. 
I'm sorry, Jamie, I didn't know. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, here are the, those are, and just because you might be interested from that survey, here are the top 10 in order. At, I think we did a Halloween candy thing the first and, year. Oh, yes. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Here are the top 10 worst in order. I think when I did it, I think candy corn was considered the worst and the best. And for so those people who wanted licorice, Good and Plenty did make the worst list, but only at number 10. Oh, they were disgusting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And no black licorice. Oh, just plain licorice. All oh, licorice. Interesting. You guys like Skittles? Yeah. Only, the only licorice no. is black, despite yeah. what Susan says. Don't get an argument with Rob about licorice. He's licorice is a me. flavor. It's not a color. And, the heck and most of the licorice yeah. we have in this country isn't made from the licorice oh, plant oh, anymore. Oh, but the ones that they're using for I see hot. medicine <laughs> is. Uh, there are whole websites devoted to warning people not to take use licorice as a medicine because that was originally uh, used. It's from yeah, I remember fruit. my mom having yeah. it. Yeah. You're right. Most you're of the right, licorice Rob. we get now is made from anise or fennel. I'm amazed that smart is somehow got onto the worst. Uh, or 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 is that or, or is there a U.S. Smarties that isn't as yeah, good? Yeah. 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 Smarties, Smarties in the U.S. is something else. Yeah. What is a wax you... cola bottle? What the hell is that? Oh, those are cola bottles. Oh, it's oh, a bottle. oh, 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 wax oh, candy oh, with Kool Aid mix in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you were deprived oh, as a child. Yes, yeah, yeah Rob. We definitely was. Well, apparently apparently not if it's on the bottles, and you pop the top off and drink the fluid in it. They're about this big. And, and then it's the it's like four of them that gum. connected. And then okay, so the wax. now we're gonna yeah, then you shoot the wax. Okay, here's our here's our scores. All right. No. When you eat your smarties, do you eat the red ones last? Yes. Oh, really? Thanks we used to, to do trivia with smarties and dum dums. If you got it right, you got a smartie. If you got it wrong, you got a dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to cocaine. Thanks to cocaine, we got one. Ten. Woo. We got eight. See, you knew what I was talking about, didn't you? This time, yeah. <laughs> we were trying to get a name, but Elon fired us. This is this is Gail's team. What did Robin? Oh, anyone? Um, I think we have six. Okay. Enabled two FA. We also have six. Okay, we're completely partial. And the bonus is counting? Nine. We got, no, we got bonus ten counts bonus. Is ten. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're taking yeah, ten. Oh. oh, man. How come it's yellow right there? That should be yellow. Something's wrong. I'll go into the file. Okay, thank you. I'll have somebody else fix it. But then again, of course, I don't learn. But that's right. Okay, let's take our photo. <laughs> photo, everyone. Photo. Photo, photo, photo. Photo, photo, photo. Everybody get ready. I want your smiling we happy something? faces. Huh? Should we do it's it's our Halloween um Halloween um trivia. Show you well, things. We don't all have costumes. You don't need one. What was the one? Uh, let's see. I I'm I dressed as a silly sister. Excellent, hat. Peggy. We, we yes. could use the Susan Gerbic group photo method of everybody Ooh. looking a different direction. No, no. Okay. I think we should take a nice picture and then we'll, okay. we'll do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Click. Well, I can't say the word click because if I say the word click, then then <laughs> then it'll be me saying the word click. If I say one, two, three, and then I click, you should know. Let me look and see if I got the picture. Okay. Fire a bird. Oh, Kevin is. <laughs> oh, I like Jane. Jane from California's women are voting sign. That's nice. Yay! Yay! I'm doing my lighthouse tour. Okay. Uh -oh. Five minutes. Be back okay. quick. Bye okay. to those people. We're losing. Bye. See you in another week. I'm going to go get an apple. See you, Jim. Bye. What the freak happened there? We're still recording.
All we're getting are chicken clucks. I love I love how there's just the chickens are sitting on the chair. <laughs> So on the way back from Vegas, I stopped at Sequoia National Park because mm. I had never seen a giant redwood. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had no idea that they were so rare. There are only a few dozen places in the entire Sierra Nevada where they grow. And the largest one, the largest grove, is only a, a, a mile or two across, or a couple of miles across. Right. Does so it, it have two it trees in, in it? Right? Put into perspective why they went to all that bother during the big fire to really protect yeah. them. Can you imagine yeah. that now? And, yeah. and all of the really large ones, I forget what the cutoff is on the diameter of the trunk, you know, 30 feet or something. All of them that fit that category are within one grove called the giant uh, uh, sequoia forest, except for one. And that's only about by as the crow flies 10 or 15 miles away. Of course, are you talking about by, the sequoia? Yeah. Sequoia gigantis, not the sequoia. Yeah, sequoia giganticus, not the, not the sempervirens. But uh, they're... Oh, they're, they're, they're big trees. You know what I imagine? I imagine when I'm standing next to them or just thinking about them, just all of the human wonder right things and horrible things we've done, they just do carrying on with our lives. This. And this uh, is just, can someone mute Robin? Yeah, um, the same three name yeah. Texas. Yeah. Someone just please mute Robin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really well. just, mute everybody, then unmute yourself. <laughs> Well, only the only the people that can mute that have power. I don't do have muting power. <laughs> Where's Jane? Robin, don't say anything embarrassing. No, really Rob's gone. So. Oh, God bless you. Wait, but anyway. I can mute everybody because I shouldn't take okay. my power away. No, oh, okay. Thanks, Gail. Just, just mute, if I'm you can mute it. everybody. But the thing is, the just to imagine everything going on in humankind for that period of time, and here's this you know tree just growing and doing its thing well i just it just it just it's I, it's so humbling and you're muted so, so the old the so the largest tree the general sherman tree is not the oldest but it's 2200 years old and the second largest is a mere 1700 years old wow and there is a rhesus both things exist in the world. <laughs> well, good for you, Leonard. What? Oh, what it was gorgeous. What made you finally go? I was looking for a good justification for driving to Vegas, besides not wanting to spend time in airports and airplanes. Where do you live that you could drive? Um. A little bit north of uh, Susan. Yeah, it's like ten hours from here. Yeah. Oh no, it's less. It's um, yeah. It depends on how fast you go and how often you have. I would say more like six or seven, but yeah, it depends on how fast you go. Right. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. I felt the same way you did, Leonard, about. When I first time I went to see the um, um, the the let me try to think now. Okay, when I went to Arizona, right. and in Tucson there is the Saguaro National Forest where the saguaro are absolutely everywhere, and yeah. we, we think of them and know them. And then I found out that unless they've been transplanted, which they have been to other places in the Southwest. Originally, that's the only place in the world they ever existed. Right. And those plants are hundreds of years hey. old. You know, one of the yeah. great jokes apparently among Tucsonians is that pe people go to the go to the 
tourist store and buy a little little saguaro plant to take home, right? And it's an inch high. And after about 10 years, it'll be two inches high. <laughs> Swirlings. It was uh, it, it was uh, quite quite a stupendous sight. Uh, the General Sherman tree, the parking lot for visits, uh, because they don't want you know to pave the area immediately around it, um, is at the height of the top of the tree. So you have to hike down and then hike back up the height of the tree, which is a really visceral way to feel how tall that tree is. And of course, they're not all that tall compared to the coast redwoods, which are significantly taller. I think the General Sherman tree was, it was 260 feet, whereas the tallest um, coast redwoods are almost 400. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're, they're, some, they're amazing. I have some saguaros I need to trim. I've been meaning to look that up. <laughs> are, are they over 300 feet tall, Kyle? Not yet, but they're growing really fast. One in particular. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm back. All right. I brushed my teeth really good and floss so that I wouldn't eat any more candy. <laughs> So um, we have a few things on our agenda here real quick. Uh, turn on your two-factor auto thing on Facebook. <laughs> Everywhere but Facebook, apparently. Make it's sure on. Turn on. <laughs> um, is everybody back? Oh, Cass is probably somewhere. James, you there? Rob, Deborah? Come on now, Cindy. Come on now. Terry? Terry is there? There's Isabel. Isabella, no, no. Bob's there. There she There's, is. Okay. Okay. Come on, you guys. It's been over five minutes. Kyle, what do you got? This week on Data Skeptic, more on advertising technology. I talked to a researcher who <laughs> looks into tribal marketing or how you reach audiences that are, you know, interested in a particular message and what the techniques are. That's this week on Data Skeptic. I'm way behind on my things. Did you say more on advertising? <laughs> More on advertising. You know, same thing. <laughs> Ooh, it was so nice to have you show up at the very last second at, at PsyCon. It was. Yeah. I had a fantastic time. I'm so glad I was there. Yeah, I'm glad you were there too. It was it was fun. We had some we had a lot of fun. Okay, but me too. I'm, I'm totally about... I'm totally going back next year, man. Oh yeah. That was I had so fun. Much fun. Okay, we're not talking about yeah. PsyCon because I don't want any other people feel bad, but yeah, it was a blast. But we okay. want them to want to come next year. Well, yeah. I know, but some people don't, and some people can't. And I but, mean, Jamie's all the way in Taiwan. How is he? Hit me going? up for a roommate so, if that's the problem. So okay. I Benny? will not be going, but I just want to say I enjoy hearing about it. I, I'm having vicarious pleasure from hearing about it. I don't feel bad that I can't go. I feel happy that I can hear about it from your experience. But you're a very kind person, Karen. If you want to go <laughs> next year, Karen, maybe we can all carpool. I'll drive. I'll pay for the gas. You can stay in my room. I love to drive. I will drive. Finish. I'll drive the whole way. Okay. okay. Finish the game and then so, at the and then yeah, then yeah, Bob's yeah. got a good point. Okay. <laughs> so here's a couple more announcements. I I'll have go. I have written a trivia article about trivia. It is going to appear in Skeptical Inquirer online. Not this, uh, probably not this week. I have an article coming out this week about the Seattle skeptics and 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 um, Sacramento skeptics. Okay, but the probably the next article. So there's going to be an article in there, and on there I have a couple links to all of our photos that we've ever taken, and I have that for you guys, and also a link to all of the. Uh, not all, but like a third of all the trivia questions we've asked. So that will be links in the article. So pay for that, uh, not pay for that, but look out for that. Wendy has a really awesome article. I think I mentioned it last time, but I'm gonna send it out again to you because it's so good. It was so popular at SciCon. I finally will read it this week. Will we be reimbursed for our trivia questions? No. Yeah, what'd you think, Kyle? Excellent, better than I expected. There you go, Wendy. 
I read it too. Well done. Really good article. She's got a lot. It was a really great thing. Um, I was really okay. touched the the people actually did come up to me and tell me stories about uh, friends and relatives that got scammed. And I was just, I think I was doing the right thing explaining what happens to people what's how how it's working there's no reason for i mean in my opinion um i think it's it's because it is such a visceral experience that people get all nervous about telling the truth about it you're brave mm -hmm. and you're setting a good example i really think that Yep. You know what started it? It yep. was you hearing that news piece. And I did. Heard I saw it on TV. Yeah, yeah, and that's what made her made me get the idea to Good. say, "Hey, Whitney, that'd make a good article." And Good for you. Out. Okay, so anyway, powerful. the articles in the chat. Thank you. The articles in the chat. We'll mention Bogosian next time, Wendy, whenever Faith or Romero are here because they're not here. So that doesn't make any sense to talk about Peter Bogosian right now. I and think Faith and Romero might be in Yosemite Valley by tonight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, I'm also putting a link to my talk. I haven't fussed on this. I probably won't. This is my talk at PsyCon. And I do start crying in it, which is really hilarious. Mm -hmm. Rob, can you put your link to your video in there too? There, we there go. it is. Boy, like just like as if he was thinking we were on a thing. Like and it. the last like thing it. before we go back to the game is I want to see who the cool kids are and who is listening to Rachel Maddow's Ultra. Just hands anybody who's listening. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, man, it, that is, that is. I I looked for it. I couldn't find it. It's a podcast. I Can looked somebody put for the, it. Somebody put like yeah. a picture. We'll it send is, you the link right now. Okay. It's incredible. It's, Mark and I just listened to it. Uh, all four episodes that are out right now. And I learned something we're just listening to a second time. I am shocked we've not heard this before. And it's all repeating now, which is freaking yeah. weird as heck. Mark's like, what? Wait, what? Is she talking about the 1940s? But Susan, I don't know about you, but I was comforted by the fact that we survived that. Because I think if we could survive what happened in 1940, we can survive this one. You know, I've heard that from other people too. And it was, it's incredible. It comes out every Monday. How many episodes? Six or eight. Okay. Uh, and this is about podcast. Four hours, but, I think. But now. there's Rachel Maddow's um, podcast, okay. Leonard. Good. Yeah, that must be it. It's ultra. Thanks. It's kind of an orange kind of logo <laughs> or something like that. Look, okay. George, everything stop because George is here. Hi, George. We're going to go see you on Sunday. Hi, George. Hi, George. Okay. I think he, he hears his name. Hi, George. Hi, Hi George. George. Hi, George. George, George. He's going to go for walkies. <laughs> Let's go for walkie. Walkies, George. Oh, George. So I said George. You guys. Uh, that's wonderful. So, okay. Uh, one, so we're going to come back from our break because otherwise we'll be here forever. One more sort of announcement. So oh. people who don't already subscribe to the Skeptics on podcast definitely need to do that because it's all going to well, be about Psycon, right. I think, this next weekend and maybe the one after that and maybe the one after that. And a lot of people on the screen here were interviewed. So, yes. I didn't get interviewed. No, I couldn't find you. What do you mean you couldn't <laughs> find me? I was everywhere. I was everywhere all at once. Carl, where are you? Susan, words count. He said a lot of the people, not everyone. Right. You know, just, <laughs> just like the questions here, if you're not specific, you know, you've got to you got to read the so, words, what they mean. Susan, That's you're true. not recognizing Carl because he's I see him. I not, see him. Not, not in silhouette. Well, I just saw him this week and I saw he was I know he has a face in the front. Wait, he has yeah. a whole face. <laughs> he didn't know, but he already sits by the Carl, way. where There's is your phantom mask? We talked about this. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to go. Let's go for it. Okay. TV show opening narrations part two. I will give you some of the opening narration from a TV show, and you have to name the TV show. If there's a little ellipsis inside a bracket. It means I've uh, omitted portions of the narration. All right. Unmute.
A man barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Number two. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum, maximum security stockade into the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. Number three, man lives in the sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. But there is, unseen by most, an underworld a place that is just as real, but not as brightly lit. Okay, number four is a long one. <gasps> you know the kind of guy who does nothing but bad things and then wonders why his life sucks? Well, that was me. Every time something good happened to me, something bad was always waiting around the corner. Karma. That's when I realized I had to change. So I made a list of everything bad I've ever done and one by one, I'm going to make up for all my mistakes. Number five. What do you want? Information. Whose side are you on? That would be telling. We want information. 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 You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Uh, oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I said that out loud. Um, This is the city, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> That's where I come in. I carry a badge. Okay, here's another long one. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Try this for a deep, dark secret. The great detective blank, he doesn't exist. I invented him. Follow. I've always loved excitement, and so I studied an apprentice and put my name on an office. But absolutely nobody knocked down my door. A female private investigator seemed so feminine. So I invented a superior, a decidedly masculine superior. Blank. It was working like a charm until the day he walked in with his blue eyes and mysterious past. And before I knew it, he assumed Blank's identity. Number eight. This is the story of one of America's great unsung heroes. I mean, you've seen him, but you never knew who he was. You've cheered for him and cried for him and women have wanted to die for him. But did he ever get any credit or the girl? No, he's what we call a stunt man. And the reason I'm talking so fondly about him is well, because it's me, Colt Seaver. Anyway, picture work isn't wall to wall employment. So maybe you wonder how a guy keeps his head together. Number nine, you are being watched. The government has a secret system a machine that spies on you every hour of every day. I know because I built it. I designed the machine to detect acts of terror, but it sees everything. Violent crimes involving ordinary people, people like you, crimes the government considered irrelevant. They wouldn't act, so I decided I would. But I needed, I needed a partner, someone with the skills to intervene. Hunted by the authorities, we work in secret. You'll never find us, but victim or perpetrator, if your number's up, we will find you. Ooh. And lastly, my name is John Crichton, an astronaut. Three years ago, I got shot through a wormhole. I'm in a distant part of the universe aboard this living ship of escaped prisoners, my friends. I've made enemies, powerful, dangerous. Now all I want is to find a way home to warm, to warn Earth, look upward and share the wonders I have seen. And then uh, this one is not for points, but I just want to say it because it's so cool to say, so I won't paste it. It's a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It's the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. Thank you, Russell. My favorite show. That's, but that's just for fun. No points on that one. My favorite show. All right. Hey, Here we go. Oh, so you guys should know, Carl got to sit down with uh, George Rob and read a whole bunch of his old categories. George boy, Rob, George got like at least eight out of ten almost every Rob, one of my rounds. George writings. Rob knows this shit. And I wonder he and, didn't show up. Yeah, for real. No, it's East Coast. But Carl, I think, is going to start doing some working for the SGU. Uh, I might be writing some trivia for him. That'll be something else. See.
just amazing. Very interesting. These things happen. Yes, honey? Meow? Meow? Everybody in rooms that need to go in rooms? Hey, thought I hit join. Yeah, you should be right. No, you assume it's the husband. What did I, wait, what husband, did I miss? Husband comes over and puts some candies on the bed and her hand reaches out and snatches them all in under. And she and she puts the that little creature back out there with a sad face. And he comes over and he, you know, he keeps giving more things and eventually she yanks that in and she flips it over and puts it out happy again. Wait, Susan, what do you think? Is this a joke? It's, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a YouTube Tell video. Isabel has oh, Isabella's oh. got this this cute little um, creature. It's like that, a Kind, of, kind so, of to tell what your mood happy, is. This is the sad. Oh. One, two, three, four, four, five. So I know five, but the but the bonus doesn't count. There's no bonus. No bonus. Oh, no bonus. Okay, let's see. I know five. All right. I don't know any. Number one is a six million dollar man. Yep. Yeah. Number two is the A team. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they were. I didn't know they were um, runaways. Yep. I didn't know that. Escapees. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, three is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know three. Is it the prisoner? No. Prisoner. No. Or uh, five is prisoner. Okay. Number three says. Come here, Katie. Man no. lives in the sunlit world of who he believes to be, what he believes to be reality, but there is, unseen by most, an underworld, a place that is just as real, but not as brightly lit. Can we move on and then figure yep. how many we don't know, how many we yeah, do know? Fine. Yep. Number four, you know the kind of guy who does right. nothing but bad things. What is that? My, my name is Earl. Oh. He's a I, guy I who's uh he's he's working his steps. You know, you have to make amends when you're uh -huh. you've been an addict and asshole. And he's working his steps, going back. I, and, I, I recognize the narration. I couldn't remember the name of it. No, the I didn't know it at all. I've never heard it. Okay, City of Los Angeles. Is this uh Friday? Dragnet. That's Dragnet. Dragnet. But I, 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 no I, five. That's five. Um, yep, that's five. No, I mean, six, well, number six. Number five is. What do you want? Information? Whose side are you on? That's the prisoner. Oh, that was the prisoner. We skipped yeah. that because so, Susan that already was obvious. said that. So six, okay. Drag no, net. Susan, it's not obvious. It's obvious to you. No, no, it's <laughs> obvious. It's like, come on. I, I didn't know it. Okay, um, try this for a deep secret. This is Remington Steel. Yeah. Oh, yep. good. I didn't know that. Yep. Remington Steel. I knew it. That was um, a really interesting program. Sure. Um, number eight's the fall guy. Oh, I never saw that. Oh. Hey, I think it's the same actor. Is it the same actor as the $6 million man? Maybe I'm not. not. Sure. Lee, 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 Lee Majors. Majors. Lee Majors, yeah, I don't know. Okay. You're being um, watched. This is... um. No idea. You're being watched. Government has a secret system, a machine that spies on you every hour of every day. Get smart. No. No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's a riot. That's a riot of a That's a riot, Alice. To the moon. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. Hey kitties, you get along. They're starting to fight because they want to be in the same chair. Skip nine. Uh, skip nine for a minute. We'll come back. Ten and is my name no is idea. John Crichton, an astronaut. I'm surprised Isabella doesn't have all these. <laughs> Why would I know any of these? Because you seem to know everything. I guess what's going on is she's gotten all educated in college and everything. She's forgotten. No, I don't know trivia. all these TV shows. I've never heard you of any of these. You know all this stuff. No. See? She's growing up. I'm telling you. No, well, maybe she's, it's because she doesn't sit in front of um, TV a lot. She's studying like, other things. Well, she I feel like the, the old all. shows I know are like from like the 70s and 80s. Not necessarily the 60s. These are the 70s and 80s, thank you. I know, but like the shows my parents were watching, which are like the Brady Bunch and the Waltons. Not yeah, that's really what these are. Remington Still. 
Yeah. Never heard of any of these shows. <laughs> Your parents okay, were watching right. right I, I don't know what that one is. I don't know what nine and ten are. It's science fiction, so I'm not I, good on that. I think, and I can't think of the name of the show, and I don't think describing it's going to help anyone. I think number ten is a story about a police officer who was shot through a wormhole. And the storyline over the course of all the seasons ends up with it's all been a a fiction projected to him in like a cryo sleep in a spaceship circling Earth. But I don't know the name of the show. So it doesn't Oh help. my god, that's a cop out. So it doesn't help. <laughs> Let me go back up to toward the front. We've got yeah. number three. A man lives in a sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. But there is unseen by most an underworld, a place that is just as real, but not as brightly lit. And I thought I knew what it was and, and someone said, no, 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 it's not it. Um, well, I think you said the prisoner as we were talking. Yes. And we put, well, we put number the prisoner, five. We put the prisoner for number five. The prisoner. Yeah, prisoner is five. Okay. So number three, a man lives in a sunlit world. Okay, I don't know the answer. Number four. We have four. Four is my name is Earl. Oh, see, and I didn't even, I've never watched that. And then six is Dragnet or badge 714, whatever. Okay. Then Remington Steel and then Fall Guy and then number nine. No idea. Government. Yeah, we had the outer limits the other day. So. Yeah, this doesn't sound like the outer limits is one of we've taken control of your TV. Yeah. It's probably some British or Australian show. <laughs> Has so a partner, no idea. Naming shows that um that uh uh Carl likes. Oh, could 10 be that one that has a giant thing that Stargate or whatever they go through and okay, it goes from is there, zone to zone? Is there one know. called Stargate? Let's put Stargate. I think so. Yeah. Isn't there a Stargate? Yes, there is a Stargate. Yeah. Okay. I never watched it, but I know that he keeps Stargate. leaping through and, holes. And there's a whole variety of other Stargates named after it. So so now we have to think about shows that Carl likes. Things where's Paris ben? Hilton, I think is number nine. Say again. <laughs> Paris Hilton. Hilton. Hot. That's hot. She was in it. I know it. She's what are you working hot. on? What do you what, what don't you have? Number nine. Three and nine. Oh. Three and nine. Look, you guys, if it's like some British or Australian science fiction, I'm. I like British. I, I would probably know it if it was British. Okay. So it must so be probably weird, Australian. Probably Chinese or something. He's there was a British it. one I contemplated using, but it only had opening narration in the American version of the airing. So do we want to put Stargate for three and nine until we come up with something? It could else? be both. Okay. Man lives in a sunlit world of. There, there were multiple series of Stargate, so I mean, Was I don't, it? I don't think, it, I don't really truly think that we could use Stargate in more than one place. But you know, there what were, about well, Firefox? I've heard him use Firefox before. What's that about? I don't. I know. think it's a web browser. It is. <laughs> okay. Not Firefox then. <laughs> but Firefox. I know it as a video game. It's a, it's a. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just ignore me. <laughs> fire, fire. It's a fight. It's a fighter jet, I think. Fighter jet game. Ooh, could it be? That's real. <laughs> yeah. He can't handle it. He's like, I can't watch. <laughs> we scared him. I can't watch my own team tank. <laughs> it's okay, Susan. Well, it's for him, not me. I don't care. I'll be on another team next round. <laughs> Um, John Critton. What kind of name is that? Crichton. Critton. 
Oh, we already figured that. That's Stargate. Okay, well, we watch. didn't figure it. We just came up with a name. <laughs> okay, so nine is um, two people. I needed a partner. Spider-Man? No. Is not a TV Sp series. Spider-Man works alone. It is a TV series. Oh, is it's it? Anim animated, but I mean, it is a TV series. Um, South Park. <laughs> The Stephen Colbert show, Late Night with <laughs> Stephen Colbert. <laughs> I mean, what could this be? God, I hate it. Because then you get it. Knight Rider. Could it be Knight Rider? No. No, no Knight Rider wasn't. Yeah. Dukes of Hazard. We could we could throw out now. I'm, I'm let me go through this because it's gonna sound ridiculous when I first say the Avengers, but not the current one we all know. The like one the original the Avengers? The one from the '60s with oh, Mark um, loves that show. Oh with, my god! With with with, with the character's name Emma Peel. Emma Peel, yep, and the guy. Okay, I don't so think it's what nine Did or you, so. It's nine. For nine or three. Well, well, nine gives you the the. I don't think it's either of them, but it's I don't better think, than I don't blank. Think so what about I Spy? Uh oh, we're ooh, ooh, back. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, Number nine. Good I spy. I spy for nine. Okay. I spy is good. How about um Avengers for number three? If we don't come up with anything more, we can't have blanks. See now now my breakout room thing did come on in front of me. Okay, That's so we have mm -hmm. the six million dollar man, a team, the Avengers, my name is Earl, uh the prisoner, dragnet, um, Remington Steel, the Fall Guy, I Spy, and Stargate. So we have probably three of them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but we well, have answers. We have some kind of answer because we might be right. Those well, are we've good. Got an, we've got an answer in every one of the spaces. We think three of them are just made up answers. Yeah, it won't be an embarrassing story. The Truman Show. No, that wasn't a TV show. Not a TV. That was a, not a TV show. Well, good, good team. Good job, yeah. team. Okay. We just tanked them. Nobody more than else. for six. We got at least a. Well, we got Fine and Danny, Mister. I'm gonna say six, eight. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, well, we spend some time doing other things and watching old TV shows. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> well, when <laughs> when these TV shows were on, they weren't old. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> And when we were watching them, we weren't old either. No, I'm still not old. Shushing. <laughs> Shushing to go yourself. You're All right, older Carl, what you got for us? All right, Speak nobody else is Susan. Some of us are old. No. <laughs> but we weren't when we watched the shows. Right. So, number one, the six million dollar man. Well, there he is. You can either have the word SIX or the number six. I'll accept either one. I will not be that pedantic. Thank you. Number two, the A team. Look at them. Look at them. Ba, 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 Look how ba, young ba, they ba, were. What do you look at, fool? Three. <laughs> Hails from the dark side. Oh. He was on the right track. I heard him. Mm. Not didn't get it. Never Number heard four, of it. My name is Earl. <laughs> Yay, Very Aaron. Funny show. Five, the prisoner. Hey. We should have known. I guarantee Damn, you I should have known. Oh, okay. oh wait, you didn't get you it. Didn't get oh, that one. Did. Wow. The Getty. Hey, I finished the line. You should have known that when I finished it. Colonel Potter. Oh, that's. Oh yeah. <laughs> you no, know, I watched. I watched that recently, and the opening scene is Los Angeles. You all should see how foggy it is. <laughs> you can my, even see it cousins, in this picture. One of my cousins yeah. was married to one of these guys. What? I watch. I watch Columbo. I know how how small well, Columbo is amazing. Your Number cousin seven, was married. Remington Steel. <gasps> I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Number eight, the Fall Guy. Oh, that was oh. it. Good job, guys. The Lee Majors. I never heard yeah. of it. And you're right. It was Lee Majors. Same guy. My team got it. Number nine, person of interest. Yes. yes. Nice so going, team. Kyle. Good. Good one. And finally, number 10, Farscape. Yes. Yay. Yay. Farscape. Okay. What Yay. country what country is Farscape from? America Australia. Space. Space. What? It, it's an American series. Oh. US. No, I think it's from Australia. Why are you it's asking? US Kyle? creatures from Jim Henson <laughs> Studios. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I feel better because I've never heard of those ones that I got wrong. It's bad when you when you you're like, oh, that's right. You know, you forgot it. But these I never heard of them. So I'm mad at myself. US show, but like many US shows, it was probably filmed in like Vancouver or something. Yeah. Well, Wikipedia says it's Australian American. Ah. Yeah, oh. because their land nationality. Their planets they went to were Australian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the non- Planet Australia. Hey, uh, yeah. what, Bob, Rob knows they must speak Brazilian in, in the Australian planet. Mm. Apparently, it was originally mm. produced for Channel Nine in Australia. No, is the right. bonus one? Is that um? Was that Twilight Zone? Yes. Yeah. We oh, would have I thought it was the that. Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> I often get those confused. Let me tell you a story about a man named Jim. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the one. Oh, there's a mystery category right there for, for somebody. Show show you know. Know. Okay, this so. Was awesome. This was fun. Okay, so we are trying to get a name, but Elon fired us. I haven't looked at the We had nine. Nine. Wow. It's... We actually had nine and a half. We had dark, but not the rest mm. of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yuck is it. Truncates, so. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yuck. Truck. Yuck, yuck. Eight. Eight. And up to the top. Oh, Enable me, uh, two FA. Nine. Paste those answers in while I'm at it. Nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And thanks to cocaine, <laughs> we got one. Yeah, nine. 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 Okay, and the curve, and the curve continues. Team. Zero. Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> I heard this. I heard that zero. Dun, 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 dun. We lowered the average, Carl, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Good job, Kyle. I love that category and I love the results. <laughs> Carl should do more categories so he takes so, takes so he can lose. <laughs> and, and as always, the, the the questions and the PowerPoint answers are in the chat if anyone wants to download them. Yeah. So we decide who's going next. Is it going to be Peggy or is it going to be Kevin? Kevin. Uh, Doesn't matter to me. Kevin's Kevin next. Can, Kevin can go. It just makes yeah. We'll remember it better. Okay. Okay. Mine is pretty simple. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a, a bonus category. There have been um, 23 members of the Five Timers Club on Saturday Night Live, yes. named 10 of them. They've what? hosted Saturday Night Live five times or more. Well, what do you call totally, the category? This is, this is totally a bonus. Do you mean guest host? Five host. Timers yeah. Club. Five Timers yeah. Club. They, they, they've done it five times. Does that mean host, 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 right? Yes, host. Okay. Okay. So what are you calling the category so I can put that SNL on? SNL Five Timers Club. Okay. How many were there? 23. 23. They have more than five. Hmm. Okay, send us her rooms. Yeah, this is totally a bonus. Mono rules? No. 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 Not with only 23. No, yeah, you're right. Okay, send us her rooms. Hold on, putting it in there. <laughs> Sound effects, even. Deborah's got a big fan work in there. Not me. I love I'm her, her big fan. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm a fan wasn't. of Deborah. Hey, team. I'm your guest. So, Carolyn, I magically appear because Kevin's going to go away. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Kevin. going to go away in seven minutes. Okay, here we go. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. He likes to watch. So I watched an episode of SNL where they actually had oh, them. They had all of them on. They had them on. Yeah, they had yeah. them on. And I, I, I can remember Tom Hanks. Okay, Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Tom Steve Hanks. Martin. Steve Martin. Chevy Chase. Oh, of course. Yeah. Chevy Chase. Um, oh, the little guy. I'll keep track of how many you say. Um. Yeah, what's his name? Um, oh, shit. The guy who isn't he with Steve that? Martin? He tours with Steve Martin, wasn't he on? Martin TV? Short. Yeah, Martin, Martin Short. Short. Yeah, I was just Canadian. <laughs> Short guy. Yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of the 
guys that started SNL were from the Canadian um, comedic right. group, group back then. I can't remember the name of it. Second City? Yeah, Second City was Chicago. How about Yay? <laughs> yeah. um, or Yee or whatever his name is. Was yeah, he's not going to. I've got a good word. He's not going to ever host Saturday Night Live now. Oh, um, yeah, for real. How about how about Neil deGrasse Tyson? <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be awesome. No, but he wouldn't know when to shut up, and he would just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny, oh yeah, yeah. Come on, forget it. We'll just keep talking. Um, oh, um, it wasn't Justin Timberlake, but maybe he was the guy who was the wannabe <laughs> done four. And he was getting. Yeah, I thought he did five of them. Maybe he did um, five. I don't think so. No, nope. I'd be surprised. Gilda Radner, too old. No, she, she, she was. She was a died. Yeah, yeah, I remember hosting. Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, remember? That's a good one. Yeah. Did he oh, come uh, back? Just, Justin, Justin Timberlake. That's what I said earlier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was he five times? I don't remember. Yeah, he, yeah, he was. Okay, so I'll put him back on. The BG. Yeah, Justin Timberlake. He did a whole bunch of them. Yeah. I've never seen a monologue yet that I've liked on there. Oh, I have. Just not funny. I, oh, what about uh, Neil Patrick Harris? Has he been on there? Patrick yeah, Stewart? Yeah. It would be the Maybe. kind of thing he would do, but I don't remember seeing him on Catherine it. Catherine Hepburn? Oh. No. <laughs> Maybe Susan Gerbeck? Not yeah. yet. I'm so I, I keep ignoring oh. their calls. Oh. We can't, I can't seem to find the right time with them. Um, well, we said somebody, you know, Steve Martin has me hosted. Yeah, yeah. We, said, yeah we said Steve got, Martin. Yeah, Steve well, Martin. How, how, how many do they have so far? So I've got six. I've got Tom Hanks, Justin Timberlake, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, Eddie Murphy. Are they all men that you've named? <clears throat> They've had women, right? The host, yes. Like I think Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> has uh, hosted a few times. Um, oh, what about um, the McCarthy? The Melissa McCarthy. Oh. Melissa McCarthy. Um, uh, yeah, I bet she has. Okay. Carol Burnett. How about Molly Shannon? Did she ever come back? Oh, Betty White. She did one time. Oh, she did once. Did Betty White do it? I, I would think oh, she yeah. came. She yes, yes, hosted. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she did. But it has she done five times? Her, 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 uh, her hosting was epic. Now, that one I'd like to see. I probably would like to see that would one. You, what was that? Look one? it up on YouTube. You'd love it. I'm making a note. You you cut out there, James. So I missed what you said there. Was that oh. another name, or was that just about Betty White? Oh. Betty White. Uh, Betty White was uh, hosted one time, and it was, was an epic uh, oh, okay. performance. She, we'll put her down. She was, but I don't know if she's been five times. No, no, I only know one time. Okay, maybe she oh, has. Who, who played Who played Trump on Saturday Night Live? The guy Trump. who just did he? Baldwin, Baldwin, oh. Baldwin Brothers. Baldwin. Uh, Alex. Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. He's definitely. That's a possibility. How about Will Ferrell? Did he ever come back? Will Ferrell is a possibility also. I think he came back, but I don't know if he hosted. You know, okay. if he would just sit or do a guest. But yeah, I, I haven't. I don't. If we I, keep... I, this is terrible. I watch the highlights on YouTube. I don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, I do I too. I only watch the, I like the cold opens. And I like the news segment. And that's about all I find that the rest of it's kind of hit or miss. Yeah, I think Alec Baldwin did quite a few. Okay. Throw them out there. Yeah. And so Will Ferrell, I, I do have down in case we can't think of anybody else. What's the what's that other comedian? The that's not George Carlin. George Carlin would have that's too old, huh? Yeah. He's been dead too long. Yes. But that again, he it's I he's funny even yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ooh, everybody's favorite father. Bill Cosby. Did Bill he Cosby? host it though? I don't know if I've ever seen him on it. Maybe he must. He was popular for a long time. Mm -hmm. Who is that? 
Bill Cosby. Never uh, I'm ever hosting. Uh, never. I never hosting, but I don't uh, think so. <laughs> Funny how I said everybody's favorite father, and you all knew who I was talking about. That's what's what about scary. somebody like Jennifer Aniston? I don't know. Oh, that British woman who does all those parts, not Angela Lansbury, but there's another one that's always doing um, all the Queenie roles and- uh, Helen Mirren? No, uh, there's another woman who's super famous British woman. She's probably in her early 70s. Emma Thomas? Thompson. Thompson. Emma Thompson? I can't recall her. No. She's been on Colbert a lot, so. I'm going to see you guys next week because I have to feed kitties and take medicine. Oh, well, thank you for coming and hanging out with us, Carolyn. This thank is you for getting, this video will be on YouTube so you can find out how, how they did. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye. See you later. Good night. Night. I'm leaving. Here. I mean, they have singers as hosts. Quite a bit. Um, Bruno Mars, I know, has hosted it. Britney Spears? I don't think no, Britney, she's too. No. But someone like like um. Oh, how about the, um Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga, main, she's done it at least once, but I don't know what five. Madonna. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm just throwing out names, you guys. Yeah. I don't well, ever I watch these. That makes most more sense than Gaga because Gaga is more recent, right? So, but I guess they could host five times in a row. I don't know. Nah. Yeah, Madonna's a good one. It's clever that they have somebody else host. Mm -hmm. I think it's very clever. So I'll read the list that I have so far that I think we've. I'll got. count so I know that I've done. Okay, you can count on your fingers or your toes. Yeah, I will. I've got fingers. I can do that. <laughs> Tom Hanks, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, Annie Murphy, Melissa McCarthy, Betty White, Alec Baldwin, Baldwin, and Madonna. And I. Ten. And I put Will Ferrell and Emma Thompson. I crossed them off because I thought Madonna was better. But you can veto that if you would like. Scratch Betty White off. She only hosted one time. Yeah. But it, yeah, but it was epic. <laughs> so who do you want to put on in her place? Yeah. <coughs> Emma Thompson. I've never seen her do it, but I don't know. Yeah. And who's the other one? one? Nope. Yeah. But who was the actor who played Ant-Man in the movie? Oh, he was on Colbert. He's a he shorty kind of guy. I, I've been trying to remember his name. Light brown hair. Because he's the sexiest I man of the times. magazine. He's funny. I've he's never seen him before him. until he was on Colbert, and that was all I saw. I, he was very popular on Colbert. Well, what's his name? He was one oh, of the yeah. hosts. Anybody remember Ant-Man? Um, I'm trying to think of his name. So John Belushi is already dead, right? By hosting, even. Yeah, he's been more gone than once because he's done it more than once for sure. How about a musician like um, they like musicians. Collins or something, or Paul McCartney, or maybe he's too he's too no. too rich. Um, Not Billy Joel. Sorry. <gasps> what do you think of <laughs> Billy Joel? He's only been on three times, but he didn't host ever. You got Bigfoot in your background, did you? That's the thing that, that's tough is that we, you know, we might be mixing up when they're on it versus hosting. I saw yeah. this really cool so store, easy. Susan. That they is sold all this junk. junk. It's down to Cape Cod, and 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 it's a bunch of junk. It's stupid stuff, right? And on the inside, they had crystals that heal and all this crap, and they had these little round discs. They were white on one side and black on the other. And I said, what are these for? And the lady says, they go over your phone and protect you from all the signals that can damage your ears and your brain. I was like, okay. And behind her, she had the sign that said, Bull no bullshit zone. So I, I was looking at that and I'm looking at all the crap they were selling, crystals and stuff. And then I found the copper bracelets and there was you know, copper bracelets with combined with iron that cure all these miraculous diseases. And I'm reading the form. And I looked at the guy and I said, you know, this is the biggest piece of bullshit you have in this store. And he's just kind of shook his head and I says, along with those little crystals that, that cure diseases, this whole place is bullshit, you know? And he just kind of got mad and just didn't say nothing to me and he was waiting for me to leave. And then later I asked him if he had something. He goes, no, we don't have that. He got real mad at me. <laughs>
Oh, he was, it was called guy, Kevin. Bud- Bud- Buddha Bob's, and he was selling all kinds of crap outside. That was well, this is just all was crap. So we need oh another person on our list. Yeah. So one of the I people think it should be right down, but I was just remembered was Carol Burnett. Somebody suggested. What about her? She hasn't done it in a long time. If she has, she's not been around no. much. She was. We say, that uh, is a funny woman. My God, those are some good skits. Yeah. Do we say Bill Murray? Oh, Bill. That's Mark. a good win. Nice. Hey. One. Well, there are twenty-three, so it's. I mean, it's likely we've got. A, yeah, Bill Murray. That's many. good. So, should I read the list again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tom Hanks, Justin Timberlake, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, Eddie Murphy, Melissa McCarthy, Bill Murray, Alec Baldwin, Madonna. Uh, you know, Madonna. I'm not so sure about. Me too. So, if we come up with a better one, yeah, somebody better than Madonna. Bill I, Murray. Bill Murray, that's that's good. That's better, that's much better. In fact, I would probably put Betty White before Madonna. No, de- definitely not Madonna. Oh. <laughs> Do you agree, Betty White before Madonna? <laughs> well, no, no, no. She, I know she only hosted that one time. Betty yeah. White or Madonna? Yeah. Okay. Be- Betty White. Mm-hmm. But who who was the actor who played in The Mask and The Truman Show? Oh, yeah, he used to be on it. Um, yeah, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim well, Carrey. Jim Carrey. That's, that's a possibility. It's men, but I think it's been mostly men, probably. <laughs> do, you, yeah. do you guys prefer Jim Carrey over who? Over Madonna. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, become a radical. Yeah, he has. Uh, All right. He was, hanging out, he was going out with um, uh, McCarthy with some woman, the anti vaxxer. Yeah. So Tom Hanks, Justin Timberlake, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, Eddie Murphy, Melissa McCarthy, Bill Murray, Alec Baldwin, and Jim Carrey. We good with that? That sounds good. I think I think that's better. I think that's I think better. <clears throat> all right, great, great job, wrong, team. Wrong. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, all. It's wonderful with Matt Damon playing him. Oh my God, he was brilliant. Oh, I bet he was. He made a better what's his face than what's his face. <laughs> a better what's his face than what's his face. Okay, what's his face? That's right. I can't think of his name. The beer loving Supreme Court uh, Justice Kavanaugh. Oh, I wish I could forget Thomas. Him. Thomas Kavanaugh. Yeah, Kavanaugh. Give me a beer. Yeah. Justin. Hear me. <clears throat> Brett Kavanaugh. Yeah. Carrie is striking the mocker pose, the classic mocker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, except she's awake. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> she was completely mocker. prone a few seconds ago. Was, I was completely. Carrie, what's going you on over there? She's mocking Why him? So- oh, <laughs> Carrie is mocking. Oh, no. but I thought he was the mocker. Oh, he's a big marker. I think it's just you think you're an ancient Roman. You're just there's a cat on your right. on you, Rob. This female Rob. parent is a mother marker. What is uh, it about the cats and the chickens that have to be on the back of the chair? He's a marker. Yeah. Between the cats and the chickens. You saw my book, right? You saw my yeah, book. Yeah, you right? haven't gone, any, Isabella. You've been gone a while, but the chickens are still here. Been I, I saw, and eat. honestly, they've made my day. <laughs> I like it whenever Bob kind of leaves and the chickens are just still sitting there and you just they hear, sit there and they going, cluck and they talk. Cluck, cluck, yeah, they talk to us. Cluck, they want to know cluck. the trivia answers. They're trying to oh. give us the answers. Oh, I, yeah, they're That's so it. docile. Chickens. They just chill out. They're all cool. All right, give <laughs> us, man. give us the, give us the answers, Mister. Okay, I'm gonna go in order from the most, the most <laughs> ever. Alec Baldwin with seventeen. Yes, seventeen. 17, Alec Baldwin. Jeez, my God, I've never seen a single one. Steve oh. Martin, 15. John oh. Goodman, 13. Oh, John Goodman. Tom, yeah. Tom Hanks, 10. Buck Henry, 10. Buck Henry. Debbie Chase, 8. Christopher Walken, 7. Oh. Tina Fey, 6. Scarlett Johansson, 6. Elliot Gould, 6. Drew Barrymore, 6. Oh, Danny DeVito, six. Will Ferrell, five. 
Paul Rudd, five. Mm -hmm. Melissa McCartney, five. Oh, you were right. Just, Justin Timberlake, five. Mm -hmm. Jonah Hill, five. Mm -hmm. John Mulaney, five. Dwayne Johnson, five. Mm -hmm. Candace Bergen, five. All the rest of five. Bill Murray, mm -hmm. Ben Affleck. And the only one who's been on in the five club, but only hosted four times, was Paul Simon. Why is he in the four club? He's only hosted four times, but he's been a musical guest, so they put him in the five club. Oh, well, that isn't that's that's so cheap. I don't really think it counts because he's oh, he does, but he's in the five timer club, he was in the skit. Mm. Oh, yeah, so he's, he's yeah, been on he's as musical guest several times. I, I liked it. What well, was it? Martin Short was in there, but he was like the one serving drinks or whatever because yeah. he wasn't in the club, but he was serving yeah, he's drinks not in the, club. the five he timers. Host yeah. it. Oh, true. Good. Here's the answers. And Betty White's only one, huh? Once. Only did it once. So far. James knew that. Well, <laughs> if they she sold take... her likeness rights, they can they... make her a... Yeah, they could do AI. And Betty yeah. White's was uh, fairly recently, and she yeah. talked about how Facebook... 2010. It looks like a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> and she was in 2010. She talked about cooking and talked about dusty muffins, her dusty muffins. Jeff, James said, I have one. Oh, yeah. He says, it's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, the, the fans voted her in. That's what happened there. The fans wanted her to she do was it. in was great. It's all right. James said, you've got to watch it. It's really great. Yeah. Okay. So let's figure out how we did. Probably tens. I think this is going to be a lot of tens. So let's start with, we were trying to get a name, but Elon fired us. No, my group didn't get a 10. <laughs> no, I'm still counting. Let me just make sure I didn't miss one. One, two, three, four, five. We got six. That's what I have. So oh, well, you're tied for first. <laughs> yeah, for, for the right next here, 10 seconds. If we stop right here. Okay, so stop Kevin's, Kevin's own team. Stop the Eek is a uck. Seven. All right, we're in the lead there. All right, woohoo, woohoo. Enjoy it for the moment. <laughs> Enable the two party F and two, two F and A. Uh, <laughs> 10. Wow. Yeah, nice work. There you go. Actually, All right, it's, thanks to it's cocaine, we got two one. 2FA. Amen. A. That's the Canadian version. 2FA. <laughs> Bacon. Sorry. What Sorry. does that team name mean? I'm. It's lost on me. Two-factor two authentication. Oh, yeah. we were talking about two-factor. Secure your accounts. Because Vincent lost his Facebook. And, and, well, and I can't and, believe and Kyle so had Kyle. moved it. And Susan doesn't even have one factor on her phone. And she announced that to the world. <laughs> In the recording session. <laughs> All the psychics know it anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for cooking. We got one. Seven. And last but not least, ooh, we'll stop ooh. right there. <laughs> we're going, we're completely partial. Ten. Oh, <laughs> you guys know how much you guys are hated. disqualified. You guys are just, just oh. like, you know, come on. Ten, hey, ten, seven. Team. You made the team, Susan. Uh, I know, we were but the in the lead is, there for a while. It's Rob. all ten. It's ten, ten, and seven, and then ten. The only guy, the only time Carl wasn't in the group. Yeah, uh, but I'm not responsible yeah, but, for all ten of the tens. And you uh, came up with some of the answers for our seven when you Susan was helpful when she. Was I had. Working. I got one. All well, right. I put oh, one in there the to way. get a guaranteed point from Susan for our team. He's, that's it. He's gotten smart. He's gotten to a point where he's got this figured out. Last, last two rounds, I put a gimme for Susan. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, I forgot one announcement. Uh, I just uh, did this survey. You might like it. It's from a university. And you get a $10 Amazon gift card and ask you all questions about do you believe in psychics and do you believe in paranormal powers? And it's kind of. Yeah, I did it. It's really good, you guys. Well, I want a $10 and Amazon And it's card. a $10 Amazon card. So he I want it. Amazon. So where does the money come from? Yeah, it's I, from a the grant the psychic, the, the, the lottery the university of virginia or someplace i was not no, the allowed into the survey the and they used why it just said really? you it said you thank you for your willingness unfortunately you do not meet the inclusion criteria what did you what? say i said i was a skeptic over 18 and i think that was it that's, 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 that's,
Maybe not there's high. too many people in the category or something. Well, of course I put that and I went in. That's weird. I well, did I did it, it earlier in the day. He might have. Maybe they. They might have met the skeptic in. quota. Mm. Well, yeah. he told me it was. She says that the whole thing was to talk to skeptics. Yeah, she said mail it to your skeptic friends. It's like what the mm. hell? Well, try it. Try refreshing or something. Okay, so in the meantime, Peggy's up. Yay, Peggy! Right. Round five. Which and and I apologize for this category, but I wasn't remembering that I had volunteered apparently. Um, so this is a mystery category. I will give you the clues. I'm going to try to do it two at a time to make it go a little faster. There is something in common. Once you get what's in common, you probably get the answers, most of them, if not all of them. Number one is Princess Buttercup. I got it. Number two, <laughs> can you spell potato? No, got it. I don't Sorry, got it. I got to go back now. Peggy, I'm going to mute everybody, so then you'll have to unmute yourself. Ooh, listen to Jane. The power has gone to her head. <laughs> I'm muted, putting in chat. Jane, I appreciate that reminder. It doesn't seem to matter how many times you do it. Okay, three. Writer of novels, poetry, short stories, and journalism, this author won international acclaim for an 1885 book about the Civil War. Number four. This actor appeared in the films Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Gremlins, and Princess. And you're not Harry putting Luke. it in the chat. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's in a group yeah, of two. It. Um, I'll put it in now so you guys can follow along. Uh, number five, this English architect and polymath was responsible for rebuilding 52 churches in the city of London after the Great Fire. That should say not fur. It wasn't a great fur. It was a great fire. Um <laughs> All right, now I'm going back. Uh, I'd rather answer the great fur question. <laughs> well, if you come up with one. And seriously, all, the churches, was it? All, all the churches burnt down in the year that ended in 666, really? Yeah, they sure did. It was the Annus Horribilis. Crap. Is that, that a joke? That was worse than that that happened that year, too. Plagues and stuff and, and frogs and locusts and. The raid on the Midway. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Bears, so, lots of bears. Six. Always bears. Oh, Very something bears. happened. Yeah. Something happened. Oh, God damn Russia it. Russia 5 is also 7. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, I see. I have to go back. It did something funky when I... Oh, chicken, fucking chicken. Okay. Control Z, undo. Do you remember? Um, yeah, Control Z. Okay. Go I pet. have a little arrow that does that. I can't undo the, can I undo the chat with control Z? No. I didn't think so. Because you already hit enter. I apologize for the chat. Come on, chat. Let's see if this Is one it comes like up. naked pictures or something? No. Okay. Number six is Tonto. Number seven Wait, is. Wait, put it in the chat. Oh, fuck. No. Tonto. Number seven is Nurse Jackie or Carmela. Number eight is writer of the songs, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, and Johannesburg. And now I got two more. Come on, dude. Stay copied. Here comes Vince. Yay! Oh, you got his computer working again. Okay, number nine. Number nine is this musician, rock, pop, country, folk, and blues, who has won nine Grammy Awards, was diagnosed and treated for breast cancer in 2006. Number 10 is NBA legend, who was the NBA Rookie of the Year in 1980, NBA Most Valuable Player three times, NBA All-Star 12 times, between 1980 and 1992, and NBA Coach of the Year in 1998. So that's all 10. So what, what is it? I missed the beginning. I don't get this at all. What is this category? Mystery. They oh. have something okay. in common. The answers all have something in common. When you find out the commonality, it should make okay. the answers of most, if not all, pretty easy. 
I just excellent said, category. I need excellent. your help with understanding the numbering because I'm trying to write these down and I end up with the numbers all being strange. Start um, with number six and tell us which one each one is. I'm okay, doing number, fine number, number six. Number six is Tonto. Okay. Number seven is Nurse Jackie or Carmela. Okay, there's where the problem is. Just, just, just uh, ignore the six, seven, eight in the middle. Yeah, the six, seven, and eight repeated. Okay, yeah. seven repeated is what? Back. Nurse, nurse. Nurse Jackie or yeah. Carmela in paren. Okay. Eight is writer of the songs. The revolution will not be televised and Johannesburg. I'm going to send it to Vincent right now. I'll yeah, I'm everybody. just curious to know how my team went. That's all. Who knows? Here's a, here's a question again. In the chat at the same time. I just did it. Oh, you did? Cool. Yeah. Thank you. I have them. Okay, send us to our roomy room rooms. Vincent, what room are you on? Do I have powers? Three. 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 I have power. Vincent was of in course three. I, I think that's the winning. I think he, since he didn't play the game, I think he should go the lowest scoring team. <laughs> Which is not. I put it back to three because that's where his team was. They've been missing him, so I put him back. Hello, what? team. I have, uh, no idea. I have no clue. So, what is this? Is can you spell potato Dan Quail? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm guessing that's him. Yeah, but who was Princess Buttercup? That's from the Princess Bride. She was right. um, what? But Princess Bride. Sandra Bullock. No, she wasn't. Oh. oh, that lady with the black hair. Did you just move and your lipstick just stuck to your face? Well, we... no. I think that I have some filter on here that gives me lipstick, but I don't know. Move your I face. Go like. It. Like I don't know how it's. Where'd it go? I don't know, but you I went like, like this and it was like right here. It's giving me like special effects. You that, must have put the uh, lipstick um, on. I, I, let me see if I can. There's, a, there's a filter for lipstick and for eyebrows. and. Oh my God. Okay. Stuff. So let me. I'm like, you. what is that? There's something. I, I saw it just too, around I the face. I didn't know what to do about it. So anyway, I have okay. some fake lipstick. But. Oh yeah, yeah. See, when you went down, it went, it like faded on you. Well, we'll just deal with it. I, can't I like that. I'm gonna have to put some lipstick on. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I don't know how I did it. Princess Buttercup. Is that? It's from uh, Princess Bride. Yeah. What's her? She has long or straight black hair. I, I've never known her name. Winona Ryder. No. No. Okay. She no. was also in The Devil's Wears Prada. I don't I know. know. That she Anne Hathaway. Yes. Princess Bride. Was she in the Princess Bride? Because that's an old movie. That's much older. She's yeah, Princess she's... Bride is an old movie. It might be something else to do with it. Let's see. Dan okay. Quill, writer of novels, poetry, short stories, and journal. Civil War. Ambrose Ambrose Bierce. Number three. I think he was a journalist. And he yeah. wrote short stories and he wrote a lot of short stories about the Civil War. I like but, it. Sounds like a good again? one. Uh, yeah, I like it. Ambrose Bierce. Ambrose with a B. With yeah. a B. And then he vanished, never to be seen again. Really? Yeah, he disappeared. <gasps> Ooh, I gotta check him out. Really? Yeah. He's a ghost. Yeah, he's a ghost. Bierce. How do you spell it? B I E. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Like Pierce, B. but with a B as in boy. Right. Yes, basically. What a weird name. It, it was the Civil War. <laughs> Yeah, as opposed to Ambrose, which is that's what it was common normal. to name your son things like Zebulon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's Caspian. Yeah. Oh no, my name's perfectly normal. <laughs> um, it's growing in popularity. Is not either. You can look up the statistics on the Social Security Administration. Caspian. Yeah. You've made it famous. What? You've made it famous. That's uh, right. Sure. I know one person who named their child caspian okay so what's so number four sean it, penn that's the only actor i could think of i was, was thinking well, of sean penn too i was I, thinking of judge reinhold 
Oh. Could be. Because he was in yeah. Richmond High, and I thought he was in Gremlins, but oh, I can't remember great, now. That's a great guess. But I'm trying to think, is there a theme to this that I'm not seeing? Well, we're looking Well, she it. said there was. I don't yeah. know. Well, number five, isn't that... Um, Christopher Wren. Christopher yeah, Wren. Wren. Maybe they're all Oh, birds. it's birds. Birds. Christopher yeah. Wren, Dan yeah. Quayle. Yeah. It kills, it kills Judge Reinhold, mind you, but... What's Ambrose Bierce? The, the wrong answer would be my guess. <laughs> How about Sean Penn? Is that... No, that's not a bird. Princess Buttercup. Prince Christopher Wren. So we need the act, the actor's name who played Prince of Buttercup. Yeah, and I'm going to take Dan off Quill, Judge. That's that's the bird. I'm getting rid of Judge Reinhold because, as far as I could tell, that's not a bird. Yeah, Ambrose Beerus is not a bird. But my guess on number six probably is correct. Just Jay what? Silver Heels. Could Mark Twain be the uh, author of novels? Jay is a bird. What? I don't think Mark Twain wrote a book about the Civil War, did he? But that's not a bird, though. No. Um, I don't know anything about birds. It could be a bird. <laughs> no, Twain. <laughs> Is there a Twain bird? Tonto. J Silver Heels, because a J is a bird. There you go. Now, seven is a real stretch. Because Edie Falco played Nurse Jackie, and it's a oh, Falco, yeah. not a Falcon. Right. And she played Carmela in The Sopranos. Close enough. The revolution will not be televised. And Johanna. I've heard of that, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. This musician was my Well, we figured out the mystery. Taylor Swift, as in a, a Swift as a bird. For which answer? Taylor, Taylor Swift had breast cancer? I don't know. I'm just, that's the only country musician I, I know. Oh, <laughs> wait, right Johnny Cash. <laughs> no, no, no. I know who had breast cancer. Oh, and she was, she's kind of more known as a folk pop singer. Jump um, on that. Tom Baez? No. Yeah, but that wouldn't be her, though. She's more recent than that. Um, and she has long brownish hair. Um, Cheryl Crow. Oh, That's Cheryl it. Crow, yeah. she sure did. Yep. Very good. She fits the theme. Yep. Yep. She had that. Um, I didn't, I've never thought of her as country. Yeah. yeah. She, I uh, guess, um, uh, she was married to the testosterone testosterone guy. Okay, number ten is that is that Larry Bird? I'm gonna guess that's Larry Bird. Probably Larry Bird again. Yeah, I think he was on there last week. Somebody oh. also did a bird category. Oh, that may have been. That was Kevin. Okay. okay um, so, how about eight? Anybody figure out who that might be, or four? Or one, somebody named Robin is Robin. Robin, oh, I, I'm Robin Wright. Robin Wright for number eight. No, for number one. Oh, great! And all I did was guess the word Robin. You could be the right age, yeah. That's yeah, great. Yeah, because she's an older. She's probably yeah. about the oldest we are. Did she say Wright are. is her last name W R I J H C. Yeah. 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 She Her. played Savick in Star Trek Three, and she was also in House of Cards as. The co-president. Never heard of him. So what's another bird that might be a Civil War writer? <laughs> Swallow. Hawk. E -L. Hawk is a good one. Yeah. Ethan Hawk. No. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> I've just... Yeah. Um, Turkey? <laughs> I'm naming birds now because that's all okay. I can do. Cardinal? Richelieu, no. Because um, we're missing three, four. Ostrich, emu. And eight. Penguin. Pit mouse. Pit mouse. 
it's uh, Mock yeah. Mockingbird, Blue Jay, Jay. Well, what was that that French guy that came over here to America during the 1800s? Um, no, the uh, the Cooper. Oh, uh, Mingo. No. Um, I've got the book too, and it just. Pharaoh. Um, Finch. 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 I said Winch, but I yeah. guess Finch makes more sense. I'm extremely tired. <laughs> um, it's early for you. What's your excuse? No, I was yeah. a psychon. And that that yeah. is just, so, and then we had to go to San Francisco yesterday. Spent the ah. night, came back today. Just drove back. So I'm mm. I'm barely getting to my emails and messages. Oh, Seagull. Jonathan Livington Seagull. Does that fit in any category? No, that, that's a, a novel that became very popular back in the 70s. And he didn't write crap. the song, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised? No. Mm. I don't know who wrote that. I remember that song, but I don't remember who wrote or sang that. Because Jonathan I, Livington Seagull was a book, not a person, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. I never saw it. It was by Bach. Bach? B-A-C-H was the last name. Or Bachrach? Oh. Bert Bachrach? No, he's a, he's a songwriter. He's a songwriter. I think his last or name. Bird? Bird? Bar, bar. Yeah, Big Bach. Bird. No. <laughs> Vulture. Name, bird, name birds, and that'll give us a name. Vulture. Uh, Vulture. Seagull. It might jiggle like something in the Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not a big bird fan. Blue jay, woodpecker, chicken, chicken, <laughs> flamingo, flamingo. Yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe flamingo, Joe flamingo. Who is a giant? Who is a? Who is a? He wrote a 1885 book about the Civil War. <laughs> very popular. Very popular. Everybody's talking about Joe flamingo. Oh yeah. It's a good name for a kid. I think we should put Ambrose Beers back on there. I just just in case that, there's a bird called Ambrose. There might be. Or a Beers bird. That's right. Uh, okay, put it, uh, just consider it back on because we don't have anything else for that place. What about four? Can anybody remember any other actors that were in at least one of those three films listed? Maybe there's a bird a bird named Judge. Ooh. <laughs> Naomi <laughs> Judge. Or Reinhold. Isn't there a judge? Naomi Judge? Naomi Judge? Isn't that her name? Judge? judge. Well, Judge Reinhold. Because we know, we think he, or Sean Penn. Couldn't there be a pen, a bird called? A Sean. There's a Sean. <laughs> it's okay. outside of my window right yeah. now. I think Sean Penn. Put it on. Put it on. What else we got? It's more. Alan like Steiner is an SOB. What the hell is that? What? He wrote on his name. It says S O B. Oh. Okay, so we know that the Civil War. Okay, we got that. And the other one, we have that. Okay, number the Revolution one is Jonathan Livington Siegel, right? What? No, no. <laughs> it's a black guy. Oh, oh it well, it's can't yeah, birds can be black. Oh, black can the birds be African? <laughs> a parrot. Parrot. Last name parrot. First name parrot. Okay. No, Joe Flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's I think he's a Civil War author, actually. Oh, you do? I think uh, Joe Flamingo. Um, I've read everything he's ever written, which is not okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> John London. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure I could spell it properly. <laughs> we were we were coming up with some doozies just like that. Yes. We came up with Joe Flamingo. Joe Flamingo. Adrian? Oh, the flamingo. Oh, the birds. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, we're being recorded. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, thank you, Vincent. I missed that. Oh, yeah. I, missed that. Oh, I don't think anybody had the final round in the pool. <laughs> 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 when Vincent would say it. 
Yeah. Well, it's because he got, oh, he that got would his be a big muscle. deal. And he was on that job, Washington. paid a lot of money. Okay, go for it, Peggy. Peggy, Are Peg, we Peg. ready? I think you all did really well on fairly quickly figuring out the theme. And um, I got a lot of poop from some groups about Ooh, number seven, poop. but we'll talk was about that. Was it white poop? No. Um, your windshield? It was, it was Aaron, Karen knows what the shape would look like. <laughs> what on number, number seven, man. Yeah. Number seven. Was the group Rob? Number one is Robin Wright. Yay. Number two. Rob, Robin Wright Penn. She was not Robin anymore. Wright. <laughs> right. He was Robin and not, not back then. then. I don't think. Not back she then. She was just no, Robin then. Wright back then. Okay, number two. Number two is Dan Quayle. Number three is Stephen Crane. <gasps> oh, oh, the Red Badge of Courage. Um, oh, the Red Badge of Courage? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Number four is Phoebe Cates. Oh, uh, Phoebe. we didn't know okay. why. <laughs> it, it helped Very to good. know that a Phoebe is a bird, but yep. oh, oh, I did know that. She's a cat. She's right here. <laughs> She's a cat. She's a we thought a cat might have been a bird. Number five is Christopher Wren. Oh, that's from that's a very important character in Agatha mm -hmm. Christie's The Mousetrap. Uh, yeah. Number six, Jay Silverheels. Yay. It was Yay. American. Number seven. Wait, is, do we need that? Do we need the full name? Yeah, we put yeah. The, we put Jay, yes. didn't we? We, we just Jay. put we just put Jay. Silverheels. I think you'd need the full name. But because Jay, the bird part. Jay, Jay is bird spelled J A. Y Y E. So why do you even ask if then you reject the answer? <laughs> <laughs> they want it done recorded. Yeah, they just want to argue. Hey, I'm a professional arguer by trade, so it's okay by me. <laughs> she um, take for it. Nurse Jackie or Carmela was Edie Falco, and Falco is Italian for Falcon. Oh, oh that's what you do. That's how I snuck her in there. Yeah, it, it works. It works. Like um, it. Number eight is the writer of those two wonderful songs is Gil Scott Heron. And I was delighted to see a couple of groups at least got that one. Gil, what was this last? Gil Good job, James. Scott Heron. Oh, Heron. I thought it was John Siegel. Heron. Heron, H E R O N. But we got it wrong. I'm going to post them in just a second. Number nine is Cheryl Crow. And number 10, probably everybody got, not sure. Um, I was really impressed by just reading about Larry Bird, I have to tell you, because, you know, I was around when he was playing, but I just didn't get how amazing. Well, good he was a cr trivia question last week. He was category. amazing. If, if anybody saw the, was it, was it uh, I think it was Indiana and Notre Dame when he and Michael Jordan were on opposite teams yep. playing that, that final game, that was just the most incredible so, so the, the series actually but it was amazing so if i look up larry bird so this is it? um this is the sports ball with the big round ball right that's right <laughs> and they're kind of orange <laughs> and the one that's actually bird, ball shaped what would I look up, Deborah, if one. i just wanted to see this amazing Check. ping so peggy so, i mean you had to it's, it's, it's better live i'm sure was the word and plus, when he's playing back then, it didn't take like, you know, the players didn't take three strides to make it from one end of the court to the other. <laughs> this There's is some true. grace, some agility, some, it's really interesting. Yep. Yep. You guys, you guys didn't hear my joke. Yes, uh -oh. we did. We just oh. chose to ignore it. I didn't hear it. Doing you a favor, man. Doing you a favor. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I, have a I have a time sensitive thing. Brandy's about to join. And when she does, call her a trivia slut. Just, just do that. <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Might be a bit much. Well, Jeff she said she, she said she, she said yeah, she was no. a trivia. She said she was a trivia whore. And I said, did you take money? I said, no. Well, then that's not right. It's a trivia. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that she played another game of trivia with someone else tonight. So, so. Uh, but oh, she's oh, the last she question did? of the whole night. She appears now. She's polytrivorous. <laughs> she's not a slut. She's just Polly Triverus. No, there's a rumor she's a trivia swinger. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, oh, oh. That's getting into the really? weeds, though. We're not inside, supposed to be talking about inside, what happened in Vegas. Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs>
Well, you guys who weren't here last week, I did a trivia question category called the birds and the bees. Yeah. And it was nothing about birds and bees, but one of the answers was name this famous bee, and it was Larry Bird. Oh. So we had Larry they Bird got last it week. from just name the famous bee? Yeah, oh. famous bee, because he was famous. Oh, I'm sorry, name the famous C. Famous C, yeah. he's a South Asian. Famous, famous C was Bobby Orr. Scores, scores, scores. Okay, scores. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I had to, I, I actually blinked on it. I was trying to figure out what it is that I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> I said, I'm yeah, going back. I'm going to find out who finished uh, second. Yeah, right. I have to hit I have to hit share screen, but I'm looking, I'm going back and forth on the green screen. Anybody ever notice that we have Al Alan Steiner SOB with us? Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, I yeah. see what that's that. about. Well, he he's proud not to be GSOW. Yeah. It stands fine. for stupid older brother. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's good. Wow. I got one of those. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> wow, that hurts. Okay, so let's go to the losing category. Saintly older brother, Saintly. The losing team is we were trying to get a name, but Elon fired us, which makes sense because it's about Elon. So what is your team? What is your score losing team? We got a nine. Nine. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good score. That's pretty good. It's not going to be good enough. Oh, no, I don't. Is a, yeah. Eight. We got eight. Well, oh they tied. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go down here to the team that was the actual Peggy's thing. <laughs> Thanks to cocaine, we got one. <laughs> what did we get, you guys? Uh -huh. <laughs> I, got, I thought we got uh -huh. a seven. Seven? Stop the account. Stop the account. A small curse. Okay, enabling seven. something, something, yeah. something, something. Seven. Now stop the count. Okay, now if it's ten, I'm going to be puking. They got one, minus nine. one. One. Nine. Nine. Uh, oh. uh, Negative one. Nine. Nine. One. 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 <laughs> oh. nine. Thank you. You got forty-six. Oh, that's, that's awful. Uh, that what is there. it? That's that's yeah, awesome. Team. It's not awful. It's, it's good for them. them. It's about a Look at the okay. average. Most, most rounds back. were eight. Right. So thank, you for making, thank you for making me feel so welcome coming back and putting me on the team that got so many tens. Ah, whatever. <laughs> 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 so I need I need two more people and a bonus next week. All right. Is Susan? Yes. Um, I'm working on one. I can get it done by next week. I All right. Ready. Who said that? Caspian. All right. I'm saying good night also. Good night. Okay. Oh, good wait, Aaron, are you volunteering you to do the bonus next week? No, I was waving goodbye. Sorry. I oh, you better much. watch it when I'm doing this category. <laughs> oh, Rob, are you putting uh, your hand up for the bonus? Yes, it's like putting your hand up at an auction. Yeah, I you know, don't do that in this. I know. Part. I should have remembered. That's right. <laughs> I need a bonus tomorrow uh, for next week. Good night, everybody. Good night, Bye, Aaron. Good night, Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, we'll give you a pass this time. I need a bonus. I'll do the bonus. Are you sure, Robin? You'll... Will you really? I really will. Hey, Who has Robin, Robin's back? <laughs> Robin, we didn't use, I didn't open your email because Cindy ended up volunteering to do one. Oh, so I'll use the one that I sent to you. Yeah, we okay. never forwarded it or opened it or nothing. Ooh, don't don't awesome. open that email. It was a pretty good one. Look, people, Brandy finally joined us. Oh, where was oh, Brandy been all this time? We were wondering where Brandy was. Trivia slut. Brandy's not showing her face. No, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Where have you been, Brandy? I was watching a fair on all of you. <clears throat> you were not playing with your friends. What happened? Um. Well, it ended at nine. Wait, so. what, what ended? The trivia. What, I went which, to which, the, more, which the more important trivia group. Trivia, what was that? What trivia? trivia for toddlers ending that early? There's no, there's no, <laughs> there's no <laughs> other <laughs> trivia. What are you talking about? No, there's actually um this pub nearby that does trivia, and it was mm. it's called Astronomy on Tap, uh -huh. and it's located at a place called Astronomy Ale Works. Is that where you meet the sailors by the sea? What? Deep cut, Kevin. The, the, well the done. Sailors by the sea at the pub. Real people, real people, Brandy. Yes, real people. Okay, uh, I like the idea of having astronomy on tap because that might be something that your group can tie into. 
Yes, yeah, that's why I went that. there. Yeah. Okay, so you get a little pass. You're just going to yeah. have to tell them to have it on another night. Well, <laughs> we only do it like three or four times a year. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they should that's do it more like often, our... but on another night. I agree. It's okay. weird because like this. <laughs> like this? Like the night for. Why don't you invite him to our night? I could. Yeah. Not, not like this death march. Bob, Bob, Do you serve them whiskey and wine? <laughs> we got it. She's a fine girl. <laughs> oh, I get it now, Brandy. You're a oh. Girl. She doesn't spell her name that way. We made a but mystic, that's actually mystery the name. Of that's family. actually how I got my name. Is from that song. <laughs> no, really? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Brandy, so you're young. A fine girl? It was a nice song. So you are a fine girl. Are you a fine, a fine girl? girl? Yes. What a good wife you would be. <laughs> what would you be, Brandy? If you were a boy, what would your name have been? Brand um, done. if I was a boy, I don't know. My mom Randy. wanted to name my brother Joey. Whiskey. Was that named after a kangaroo? <laughs> no, I don't know. Was it a song? No, I don't know why, Joey, to be honest. Are you going to bed? What? What? No, okay. Are you going to bed? Soon. Are you going to bed? Rob, what? Going to bed? I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go. It's. I am really time. tired, but I've got a lot Me of too. It's Thank because you. Brandy showed up. We've been burning the candle at both ends. Well, there was a song. Run, I already run. miss you guys. I know. I know. Oh, we I had know. so much fun. It was so fun. We got <laughs> lots of pictures. Oh, we're not supposed to say that to make. The no, no, we're done with the game. We could actually. I think talk I about it. I'm got just going to leave now that I know it's turning into one of these ad incidents. You <laughs> <laughs> should have been there, Peggy. Be an hey, Peggy. Peggy, next year, Robin says she's coming, so you should put in. You should say you're going, and she can stay. This time no. And you guys should have been here for last week's trivia. You missed out. I'm gonna watch mm. it. It's on video. <laughs> Yay, Kevin. Did you ever ever get the cocaine reference? Well, I will no. when I see the video. That was they scored no. one point with that one answer. I will know it now. Thank you. All right, you guys go to sleep. I'm really tired, but keep Thank an eye you, out for you. stuff. You, There's all kinds of stuff coming up here soon. And I'll Bye. see you soon too. Bye, y'all. Bye. Good night. Good night.